Okay. Uh, we lied. Oh, okay. whoops. Okay. Uh, we lied. Sounds oh, like okay. it. Uh, Sounds we lied. like okay. it. Okay. All right. Let me just fix this thing I should have already fixed. And let's continue with some Terraria. Uh, so I was just doing a little bit of lava fishing. I'm going to fish up a uh, luck potion, a.k.a. a pearl, right after this. We've got some crates to open. Um, I did accidentally find one new thing while I was playing off-stream. Um, and that was just that over to the left and presumably to the right, away from the demon village in the middle of the map. That's how fishing potion run out. Uh, ooh, you suck. Wow, okay. Thanks, Zora. Good to see you again, as always. Um, so there's some weird, uh, building material here that I've never seen before. And there was some shadow. Ch uh, there was a shadow chest in each of these structures, and some really weird, tough enemies uh, spawned whenever I was around these. Um, so I'll definitely be heading back down to exploit those. I also found another cool base. Um, I think I saw this water evaporating. It might. I don't know if it'll all be gone by the time I go back there. Or if it doesn't simulate it while I'm away, it probably does. Uh, but yeah, we found another weird, cool calamity base thing over here. What is that text that keeps appearing? Charging station. Lantern. Security chest. Hellforge. Reinforced crate. Okay. Um, so I actually did explore all the way to the right in the underworld. And didn't find anything else unusual besides that. Uh, and over to the left we've got presumably, probably like a whole village of this sort of stuff. Um, I also cleared out the dungeon. And what a dungeon it is. We, it, it's the most linear dungeon I've ever seen. Uh, it starts with this really wide area, for the most part. Uh, and then it just kind of snakes around with... Oh. There is something I missed over here. There's one locked chest. One water candle. We'll maybe get that at some point. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it just snakes around in a linear fashion. All the way down to, well, I think about the normal depth that you usually get with the dungeon, actually. Um, I also haven't finished exploring uh, the abyss. There's also shadow chests over here. I haven't put together any abyss-specific gear. I know I saw a couple of things um, that, like, provide light in the abyss or... Um, helps to prevent enemies spawning in the abyss or something like that. Um, I did get, this was on last stream, we did get a home for the Sea King, although we'll be changing where they live a bit later. Um, but I did build a mushroom biome house so we can put the pylon there once we can get it in hard mode. Uh, haven't really made any... Last game, I made a nice undersea dome for for the angler and the pirate. But given the terrain here, um, it's not going to work so well, so I might make a pirate ship or something. Uh, probably. Uh, and we have a nice... Well, I haven't done as much as I would like to with this NPC house, but entrance via a little cave off to the side of the um, elevator and a bit of farming for Blinkroot and Fire Blossom. 
All good. Anyway. Let's see what's next. Oh, I also um, did a bit more building here and finished fleshing out uh, the storage areas for the various classes. What's the build right now? Uh, what I spent most of my time on today was just expanding this stuff out. I need some more chests and I'd like to maybe come up with... Like, I've got shadow chests for the rogue class. Um, sky chests for the mage class. I want to come up with something for the other three classes. But I don't know what chests would sort of suit them the most. I was thinking of maybe obsidian chest for the summoner. I meant your gear and weapons? Uh, summoner. Well, actually I'm wearing fishing gear at the moment. But, um, the, what is it called? Slime, uh, let me check with the boss log. The Slime God, I think it was? Yeah, Slime God. Uh, the Slime God gives us, where is it? Uh, Purified Gel. And with Purified Gel, we can make these... Uh, Staty-Gel armors. Uh, currently the set bonus gives us plus one minion, 18% more minion damage. Uh, an extra specific minion over here. And when I take 100 damage in one hit, I become immune to damage for a little while. Also gives an extra jump, I didn't even notice that. Increased jump height, more jump speed. I think that might be part of every set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so those last three lines are the same for every class. Um, with the Statagel armor. I am the Slime God? Uh-oh. Um, let's put this Hellbait back. And I, sh I should have grabbed those... Uh, I should have grabbed those ladybugs before I teleported. I think they all just despawned, but that's no big deal. We have 20 wooden crates, 7 obsidian, and 4 iron crates to open. I'd like to get a couple of luck buffs first, and I just noticed we've got like a minute and a half to attempt something that will most likely take longer than that. Um... I was hoping to get a gnome to spawn here, and we'll have to lure it up to the surface. Uh, I should really turn off my summons for this. We don't want to kill it. Yeah, it's a mixture of I just haven't gotten around to it yet, and also we don't sort of just happen to get gnome spawns with this really limited big tree world gen here. Uh, that just happened to be in a good position to climb up. But if you can if you can lure a gnome out into the sunlight, like no back wall, uh, during the daytime, that is up to 7.30 p.m., then you get a gnome statue that increases your luck. Calamity also gives us this old die. Uh, it's... It's an accessory that just increases luck by 20%. That seems like a lot. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're missing... We're not getting our gnome today. But what I can do... What just happened? Party time's over. Oh, I didn't get... I didn't get another slice of cake. Rip. Um, what I can do for luck as well is fish up... I need some bait. Um, how about I use some master bait for this? I don't want to use a fishing potion. But most of it will go to waste. But I'm just looking for oysters. Uh, and a, a, some of the time, 
fairly common really. Oysters will give you pearls. And you can use that for a luck potion. And I just realized for the time that this might take, um, we might be better off just using... What are they called? Blood orbs? In Calamity, enemies during the Blood Moon drop blood orbs. And you can use them to craft almost any potion instead of the specific ingredients. Didn't know there was a luck mechanic, TBH. Uh, well, there is. There's a, there's like one thing I can think of that's been in the game for a long time. Ooh, Black Pearl. Uh, there's like one thing in the game um, that's been there for a long time that hints at a luck mechanic. Uh, it's literally just when you talk to the wizard, he gives you something a bit vague that suggests how lucky you are at the time. Oh, we got an oasis crate as well. Uh, let's see. Black Pearl plus... Bottled Water, Water Leaf, Ladybug gives us Luck Potion.
Oh, excuse me. I got my mute backwards. What are your thoughts on the mod so far? Love it. Uh, the only, only complaint that I can come up with for Calamity is it seems it drops the frame rate a bit occasionally. Uh, that's it. And I've only noticed that while I'm streaming, so I guess there's that as well. Um, yeah, it adds... It, it doesn't just add a lot of cool stuff, but it adds a lot of quality of life as well. Like, really big stack sizes, um, being able to buy or craft things that are normally much more difficult to get. Uh, so there's a lot of arbitrary grind to get certain items that's been removed. Let's see, Rock Lobster can go in here. Uh, frog leg goes down this way in the movement accessories. Let's get these stacked away over here. Mini volcano. I don't particularly care for too much. Let's just put it down here somewhere. Actually, is it a light source? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, hanging pot, we can... It's just decorative. We can put various plants hanging from pots. I don't know where I would necessarily do that, but I'll shove that in building materials, just in case. How different is the experience from vanilla? Obviously it's an overhaul, but does it mostly play the same? Yes. Uh, it only adds things to the game. It doesn't remove anything. Uh, so a lot of it is very much the same. You're not going to be missing anything from van from vanilla. If anything, it's just going to be easier to get something that was hard to grind for. I was going to put the bookcase in with the mage stuff, but it doesn't fit where a crafting station normally would. And I don't want to change the layout of all these other things just for that. Hmm. I could put a bookcase here. I guess that looks... It doesn't look out of place. Uh, statues are going in here. Fantastic. Another gold chest. Very good. Cloud in a bottle. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Excuse me, I think a bug or a piece of dust or something got to the back of my throat somehow. Let's put these plants actually nowhere. I have no idea where I could fit them. Down here, I suppose. Got a couple of lava proof fishing hooks. Um, I'll put. We're really running out of room with our spare accessories. I'll put one of them in the piggy bank, and a spare goes over here. Flame walker boots. I think if we put it in the accessory, uh, yeah, 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 we do get that effect. That's kind of cool. But again, I don't want to get rid of our chisel for when I want to swap that out. He evil plum. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Flame walker boots. Hellfire treads. I don't think we'll be... Wait, what is this? I think it's a bit different. Multiplies all fire-based debuff damage by 1.5. So you get 50 more... 50% 50 more damage over time from fire. All attacks... All attacks inflict hellfire. And some stuff that we've already got from... 
Terrace Bark Boots. That is interesting, though. We need to make Lava Waders again for that. I don't think we'll be doing that, but something to bear in mind. There's only one thing this goes into. I'll just sell the rest. And... was that everything? I think that was everything. We got Flame Lash, so that's good. But the uh, Slime Puppet stuff is actually kind of crazy. So, here's Magic Missile. Oh, that's Quick Magic Missile. Let's get the best one. Uh, Mythical Magic Missile, 42... Well, let's, let's give it a fair comparison. Put on some mage gear. Uh, we got 46 magic damage. We can spam it this quickly. That is 11 mana. Compare that to... This is like magic missile, but for summoners. Slime puppet stuff. Uh, the max rate of fire isn't as high, but we get a little bit less... We, we get a little bit less damage per shot. Uh, let's see. 46 versus... 40. Uh, but it costs less mana. It's probably about the same mana efficiency. However, these things hang around for a moment after you spam them. And they are actually homing missiles that deal summon damage. They don't consume minion slots. And... Let's make a super dummy. What the... Oh, I forgot how that works. Um, they actually seek enemies through walls. So this is, uh... This is summoner. <laughs> Probably the best, uh, probably the, in fact, I would argue definitely the best homing missile spam, free hard mode. How do I fix this? Right click to kill all super dummies. I think I have to pick it up, put it in this slot and right click. There we go. And then we can turn that back into a regular target dummy. Finally got a new keycap for my broken control key, but it's a win key now. Press control keycap equals 12 euro, win keycap equals 4 euro. I, I don't know if I get it. Is it? Press price. Oh, I misread it. Price control keycap 12 euro, win keycap equals 4 euro. <laughs> Amazing. Looks like the control key on this keyboard breaks a lot. That's weird. I'm, I'm a little sad that I couldn't get basically a carbon copy of my old keyboard. Um, fortunately, uh, Streamlabs does a good job of filtering it out, but I've been told on just like Discord calls that my keyboard is now rather loud. It also helps that I'm using a mic stand and everything, but yeah. Um, unfortunate. I'm also missing a whole bunch of macro keys. I liked the way the volume slider worked. It had a little LCD display that I didn't care too much about, but this one doesn't have that either. Alright, so what's on our boss checklist? I think we've done everything free hard mode. I can't do this. This is the corruption equivalent of the perforators. Um, I can't do that before getting to hard mode because we need to get to hard mode before there's a way to get the dryad to give us, uh, I think it's corrupt seeds, but regardless, it's a way to make a corruption biome on a crimson world. 
I like my old keyboard only for the noise and how the keys feel. Fair enough. Abien Lane. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, but yeah, I think we've killed all the bosses. Uh, the two things that I know of uh, that I should do before hard mode is check out whatever this is. Um, I do want to explore all the way to the edge here as well. And we'll decide which uh, which we're going to use for the Wall of Flesh fight. Um, but what I'm much more scared of is the Abyss here. I think I need to look at... Does searching for this... Oh, filter by tooltip. Abyss. Perfect. I think that's what I'm looking for. Abyssal diving gear. We'd need arctic diving gear. That's a bit of a pain. Probably. Probably not as much as in vanilla. Reduces the damage caused by pressure of the abyss while out of breath. Removes the bleed effect caused by the abyss. Grants the ability to swim and greatly extends underwater breathing. Provides light. Provides moderate amount of light in the abyss. Greatly reduces breath loss in the abyss. Uh, yeah, that's about what we're looking for. Uh, Depth's Charm? How do I make that? Uh, double click, I guess. No? H how? How do I make this? Or do I have to find it? I still haven't figured out everything with how this mod works. It's a little bit counterintuitive with some things. Uh, middle click? No, never mind. I've set up middle click. I, I completely forgot, forgot I already did this. Um, but I set up middle click to tell me what you can craft with something. Or maybe how to craft it. But I don't... I can't tell if... Do I not have a way to go back in the tree? Arctic diving gear. I want to know how to make arctic diving gear right now. Left click over here. Okay. So let's go back to this. Left click on this. Left click on this? No. We don't make this. We find it. Where do we find it? Depth's charm. Uh, items? Crafted... Loot. Loot only. Charm. No. Charm. Depth's charm. Two. Double click out left view recipes. Double click right. See dropping NPCs. What? Oh, does this... Does this have a setting whereby it doesn't spoil things? No, I don't think so. Well, let's look back in how to make arctic diving gear. We've got ice skates, uh, jellyfish diving gear is diving gear plus jellyfish necklace. I thought that's how that worked. So all of these can drop jellyfish fish necklace. Diving gear... Do we not get diving gear from sharks anymore? Oh, Diving Helmet. Shark, Catfish, Trasher. Okay. We've already got a flipper or two. So we get... We kill way too many sharks, probably. Um, we get jelly... We, we kill jellyfish as well. We get jellyfish diving gear. We combine it with ice skates. Uh... That helps a bit in the abyss. And then I need Depth's Charm, which I have no idea where to get. Um, I think I had an accessory or two that mentioned 
Or is it only... Oh, we've got the jellyfish necklace already. That's good. So all I need is a diving helmet, actually. I'll just be absolutely sure there's no way to craft this. Whoops. What? What just... No, 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 no. Stop. I should not have done that with Flame Lash. That was, like, risky. Uh, diving helmet. Diving space? Diving gear. Wait, what? Oh, we can't craft it. That's what it's telling us. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have a diving helmet. We've got the ice skates. We've got the jellyfish necklace. We've got the flippers. Will it even help more than the jellyfish necklace? Should I check the wiki? I don't really... I don't want to risk spoiling things. But it seems like I should know where to get this... Um, this one item. Alright, before we do that, let's go to the underworld. And for that, I don't want summons because uh, there's way too many voodoo demons, and I don't want to accidentally summon the Wall of Flesh. So let's put our summoner gear away. Mm, yeah, all of it. All of it. Don't really need sentries either. Um, I'll grab Flame Lash. Where did I put it? Wait, what? Didn't I have Flame Lash on me a second ago? I didn't stack it away somewhere. We only had one. I'm pretty sure we only had one. Flame Lash. You're joking. I didn't delete it somehow. No, there would be something in the bin. It must be up here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, we're gonna reroll Flame Lash. And with Calamity Mod, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 gives us the best roll. I do agree with getting rid of the RNG for that to some extent, but 6 seems pretty cheap to get the best possible roll. Um, let's put this away. I might even hold on to the Magic Missile since that works underwater. Um, I'll keep these... Pretty much just Aquaceptor and Flame Lash, I think, is about all I'm looking for from Mage at the moment. Where did I put the... Here it is. Mana Flower. Unless there's something else I want to use that slot for? I don't think so. Um, actually, I think I'll hold on to the Slime Puppet Staff, uh, Slime Puppet Staff, if I want to get around, like, not being able to hit something that's in the water or something, that is going to be more effective. Alright, let's grab... I will give myself the usual pair of summons, I think. And I can always get rid of them if I change my mind. Alright, let's head down to here. Do I want to take any buffs that I don't normally carry? Calming potion? Maybe. Oh yeah, magic. Magic power and mana regen. And 
Maybe some obsidian skin, because I might want to dive into the lava. Danger sense? I don't know. Uh, Featherfall might be handy. No, I don't think we need it down there. Hunter potion? Definitely hunter potion. In fact, I should be carrying that all the time. Alright. And away we go. Get out of here. Can I leave without killing him? Thank you. I don't think any demons are going to spawn when we're at that spot. Let's use the calming potion now. I'm not worried about enemies, but it'll be... They'll be a little bit less of a nuisance, let's put it that way. I actually seriously doubt that we are going to need Hunter Potion here now that I think about it. Can I not get through here? Oh, I can if I go all the way through there. I'm not doing that. Where do I get through? Up there. I'm not liking the bundle of balloons as much as I thought I would. Um, because, especially down here, like, violently getting shot back up into the air isn't what I want so much as just to hover. Here's a shadow chest I missed. Alright. We almost there. Not really, but yes, kind of. Dodge cooldown is back. We are immortal. This is the stuff. I'm seeing a whole lot of... Uh, when I came here before, I saw a, a whole lot of weird new enemies. It's kind of dark, as is light. What are you? Skryla. They seem to be... Weak to fire, maybe? Can I dig this up? Brimstone slag. Ooh, what's down here? Material. We can make dye out of it. Despair stone. Soul slurper. Fantastic. Get out of here. What does this set do again? Pretty much just a bit of mana and magic damage and crit. Nothing super special outside what it does for every class. Alright, let's dig down this way. We'll have a bit more time to look at what... Ow! Oh, that does a lot of damage be a little more careful. In fact, let's take this seriously. Get some regen buffs and stuff. Defense. Can I not dig through this? What am I not digging through? Something. 
Okay, so those blocks can't be dug through. Uh, how do I get down here then? Or can I not get there until hard mode? Sesame. Okay, let's uh, let's not get too distracted by the loop. Yeah, I don't think any voodoo demons are showing up while we're here. Okay. Can I dig my way down there? I actually, yeah, I'm glad I brought the obsidian skin potions. The lava looks different in this biome. Oh, it's not lava. Uh, or at least it's, it's different. It's, it gives us the bleed effect as well. Searing lava. The brimstone lava sears your flesh. Yikes. All right, well, we're not swimming through that. I guess I'm not getting down there until I have a better pickaxe. I don't think it would be a good idea to fight the wall of flesh on this side of the world. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it might actually be better if we don't do that. Can I actually just dig around this? Oh, it's some kind of resource. We're being informed by the uh, Spelunker glow stick that that's the case. Alright, in that case, what's this? Nothing. Ooh, some kind of sword. Yes, please. Slurper blade? Is that what that said? I think I can dig around that stuff that we can't dig through yet. Thank you, Summon Beam from the Eye of Cthulhu. It shoots through walls. 10 out of 10 for dealing with wraiths. What do we have here? Uh, magma stone? Fantastic. And a couple more shadow chests down here. It's actually surprisingly quite safe down here. Especially since we have the, uh, what is it called again? Miniature Eye of Cthulhu? <laughs> Obsidian Rose, fantastic. We had to craft one of those earlier. That that Obsidian Rose is a great example of something that in vanilla is a grind to get unless you're very lucky. But in Calamity you can actually just craft it. What do we have here? Philosopher's Stone. Isn't that normally... Is that normally hard mode, or am I misremembering? We're now able to make a charm of myths. It gives the ring of regeneration buff maybe a bit stronger, but also 45 second cooldown on potions. Though that's for the ones that normally take one minute. How full is my void bag? Not even. I think I just got that shadow chest destroyed. Oh, that was close. Okay, 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 okay. Get out of here. Miss, miss, miss. Yeah. 
And there's a flame lash. I didn't have to fish for it after all. But I'm glad I did get one before coming here, actually. These things are kind of nasty. Take that fire blossom. What is that? Furniture? I think it's furniture. What's that? Not a mimic. Fantastic. Let's move on. Looks like we might be reaching the end of this little super demon town. Yeah, the uh, the lava just changed. So it's actually the biome. I mean, I thought it was, but it, it's actually the biome that turns the lava into even worse lava. Oh, don't kill that. Take the hell butterfly. What is this? Uh, let's make the most of this water before it evaporates. Give me that obsidian. Hell yeah. And don't kill... Friendly neighborhood voodoo demon. Oh, we're already at the edge. Fantastic. Alright, back we go. And we have ourselves a lava charm. I think we needed one to make Terra Spark Boots already, actually. That was Molten Charm. Uh, becomes Lava Waders, becomes Terra Spark Boots. We needed Lava Waders for something new, didn't we? We need Obsidian Water Walking Boots. Um... How do we get... Can we craft these? Water walking boots? Water walking potions and leather. That is actually really easy. Alright, let's put this away for now. And if I ever go all in on fire mage, maybe we'll craft those boots. That just give us the extra damage over time. I don't think it's worth an accessory slot, to be honest. Brimstone Slag. What? Did I quick stack it? No, here it is. Uh, we can make Brimflame Die, Altar of the Accursed, Summon the Witch. Doing so will create a square arena of blocks with the altar at its center. During the battle, heart pickups only heal for half as much. The witch enrages while you are outside of the arena. We need auric bars and core of calamity. Uh, ancient altar for special crafting. We got various furniture. Monolith? Alright, nothing too special from here, except for maybe that first thing. Um, I think I do want to make the die, actually. It's quite cheap. Let's... I need some more bottled water. Um, do we not have a sink in here? Let's get a sink. I think I have some marble. Uh, smooth marble block, yes. Is that all I've got? Is that all I need? Marble sink. Six smooth marble block plus water bucket. Okay. That's lucky. Let's put these bullets away. Um, dynamite goes here. We got seven more shadow chests. Uh, let's see. I need a bucket of water, which means I need a new bucket. 
bucket. Where be the bucket? You know what? This will be easier. Ah, bucket. Now we need some water. I'll go down here for it. Oh, this will do. And it was water bucket plus smooth marble block plus workbench. Gives us a sink. Um, I think I would like to have that next to the alchemy table. Let's put this stuff down again. And void vault. Fantastic. Alright, so we can now fill up these bottles. Whoops. Rip bottles. Oh, that's right, we can now just buy bottles. I love this. This is another great example of Calamity's quality of life. We don't need to farm sand for our potions. Casually, 858 bottles. No worries. And let's make some more bottled water while we're at it. Four hundred and fifty seems good. And what is that? Bounding potion. Okay. Uh what was I here for? I made the sink because Oh yeah, I was going to make the brimstone die. Oh, I needed a bucket of water, didn't I? No. No, I need bottled water. Where do I make it? Oh, probably the this thing. Yeah. The uh, dive at. Here we go. Alright, let's see how this looks. Uh, yeah. Fiery. Who could have guessed? Um, I don't know. Not my favorite. Probably put this away. Let's put our dyes in here. And I don't need any more flowers of fire. Um, let's stack away all these other things. Brimstone dye goes in pre-hard mode calamity. Uh, lava fly goes here or here. Bottled water goes here. And I guess should we take another crack at the abyss? There was something that either made us harder to spot for enemies in the abyss. Abyssal diving suit. Oh, that requires a lot of stuff. <laughs> Including Lubinite bar. Okay, never mind. Abyssal mirror. Spectra bars. That's super late. Well, somewhat late. Abyssal amulet. Okay... Can we just search for items? Here we go. What's that green dot? Or blue dot, I wonder. Crafted or looted. Okay. Uh, 
Did the, uh, did that one NPC offer anything abyss related? Let's find out. Oops. Let's see. Greatly reduces breath loss in the abyss. That skills potion. I'll take some. Uh, that's definitely easier to buy than to craft. I don't think anything else here is probably going to have anything to do with the abyss. Does this do anything abyss related? No. It does give us water breathing. I don't think the ocean enemies becoming friendly are going to work in the abyss. Alright. Let's re-up our buff. And I'll definitely be taking gills potions, danger sense potions, uh, hunter potions, don't need obsidian skin right now. Magic power, yes. Can I make some seafood dinner? I mean, yes, but how much can I make? I don't want to use the last two of these so that we can always auto-stack them. Uh, I don't suppose we can use this for seafood dinner? Throwing these in an aquarium would be insanity. Prismatic guppy. Cooked fish. That's terrible. Never mind. I forgot. That's like the one thing now that... Damselfish. We can make some seafood dinner out of that. Frost minnow? I don't think those are particularly useful, are they? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, stop. Hey, the West dude, RPHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't care too much about a warmth potion. So we'll take some of those. Let's make some seafood dinner. Uh, 14 is a good start. And I'll put this away for now. Did you organize all this? What do you mean by that? Uh, you made a huge discovery. When I drink fluids, I need to pee later. If I stop, I won't need to. Uh-oh. I don't know about where that's leading. Um, yeah, this will do for now. I do need Shadow Key while I'm over there, actually. I don't think I'll be using Spelunker Glow Sticks. Inventory's already pretty full. I need some more regen. And some Aziz Light. And why not some speeds while we're at it? Thorns. Can I not make thorns potions? No space looks like pre-built though. People usually don't make bases like that. What do you mean by pre-built? What's wrong with it? Oh, I didn't empty this out. I definitely want to do that. Let's put the... Melee attacks inflict hellfire. That's definitely going in this chest. Ancient chair. Amazing. Got a little bit of hellstone. Slurper pole. 25% fishing power, uh, power is a downgrade but it does give us lava fishing. It is the burning lava of the soul that has a furnace within. 
a very volc a very volcano of grief and sorrow. Amazing. But I think we'll be using, at least for now, the mechanics rod. Um, and we'll just use the lava roof fishing hook. Obsidian rose. Uh, can go in defense, I guess. Pre-built was already in-game and you repopulate it? No, I made this. Too tidy and clean? I mean, you can see bits of it that I haven't properly finished. Uh, let's see. Ash block. Get out of my inventory. Alright. Let's, let's try heading over to the abyss. Up we go. I don't know if there's a way to get the mushroom pylon before hard mode. That would be very helpful. Alright, so last time we were in the abyss, we prepared somewhat like this, but... Something hit me from out of nowhere, and I was about to die. So, good luck, I guess. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot. Until I get, like, a certain depth, that's gonna hurt us as well. Let's get a honey regen buff. And once I hit full health, we'll dive. Forty, fifty, sixty. Down we go. Oh, I should have used a flipper potion. Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, it's going to cost a little bit of buff time, but I'm pretty sure this guy sells a flipper potion. So I don't have to go back that far. Okay, it's further than I thought, but still. Give me a flipper potion. In fact, give me several. Okay. And I might just rebuff the summons before I jump down there as well. Piggy, actually. Alright. And down we go. Flip a potion. Hurry up. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this before hard mode, to be honest. Can't use flame lash down here. It's very dark. Alright, we're past the part where we keep bleeding. That's good. What do we get here? Black Anurian. 31 magic damage. Bubbles and homing plankton. That sounds good. Do those hurt? I think they may be hurt. Toxic Minnow. Uh, I don't need a grab potion right now, thank you very much. Get in the extra storage. Okay. So, let me check, does this hurt? Oh, it really hurts. Wow. Okay. Okay, we need to be careful about that. We also need to be careful about little enemies that 
deal surprising amounts of damage. Carrying stuff. Okay, I'm gonna look at this stuff when I get back. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. And I, I think I'll keep spamming the uh, enchanted sword for a light source. What is this stuff? I can't dig it yet. Is Did my gills potion run out already? Why is my breath not coming back? Holy crap, what was that? Nope. 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 I think I'm- I think I'm gonna have to leave. I- I think I'm gonna have to- That thing has a lot of health. It's like a boss. But not. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're not doing the Abyss before hard mode. I don't think we're supposed to. That was, um... That was spicier than perhaps expected. I suicide as soon as I have a shadow key. <laughs> Depth. Schlerpus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got 20 abyssal treasures. Right click to open. While it's raining, let's get some water leaf. Fantastic. I don't think we're going to have any trouble keeping up with Waterleaf at this point. Back we go. Morpheus out. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What kind of radioactive water are you swimming in that hurts you constantly? I don't really know, to be honest. Alright, so what's this? A summon? Summons a herring to fight for you. Each herring takes only half a minion slot. Interesting. Uh... Okay, it is indeed a flying fish. That's, um, that's cute. How much damage does it do? 24. How, how aggressive and reliable is it? We need to see it in action. Let's get rid of the eye. And I'll take four of these out for a spin. With the summon and t summoning table buff, this is how many we can have without being a summoner at all, by the way. Oh, that's really weak, I think. Umbrella slimes are a bit stronger than usual, but still. No, that that seems terrible. If we had to go to the abyss to get this, that seems incredibly weak. Oh, we have a media. Nice shot. Let's see it kill a couple of crimson enemies. Or any crimson enemy? Yeah, they're not that good. I'd still like to see them kill something beefier. Uh, Jack303, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this is... This is an incredibly bad item. For the threat level of what you have to face to get it. Get out of here, herring staff. Go home, you're drunk. Um, alright, where's the buff? Abyssal treasure. Oh, what's in my void bag? Anything else that's new and fancy? Ancient door? I didn't mean to grab that, but okay. Um, lionfish? Ancient table? And we've seen all of this before. 
Alright, Lionfish. Sticks to enemies and injects potent toxin. Stealth strikes are trailed by homing urchin spikes. What the... Okay. Yeah, that, that seems... That seems reasonable. Black Ar Anurian. Oh, this is what I saw before. That actually seems incredibly good. 27 magic damage, ridiculously fast. Spews, spews bubbles and homing plankton, and it's 8 mana. Still not as... Well, it might be as mana efficient as certain other things. We need a target. I just realized I could... No. I was going to say I could have jumped back into the abyss with this uh, potion of return. But we probably would have died instantly to that, like, mini-boss. That probably wouldn't have despawned. Uh, where can I find something to fight? most easily. Why don't we use the Eye of Cthulhu as our target dummy? Because it's not night time, that's why. 10.50am. How about an enraged bee? I can't use this in the jungle, uh, except in the jungle. A slime god? Slime god. So it spits bubbles much like Toxic Harp, only not as well. But it also spits out homing missiles. Yeah, this seems decent. I should probably do a DPS test. How many... We've only got 740 mana potions. Better be careful. Yeah, this seems decent. I thought that was an enemy projectile for a second there. I don't know about the DPS on this though. I feel like I would have been further along in this fight if I was using the shotgun. Even accounting for a bunch of shots missing. Or quite a lot of shots missing. Yeah, I'll, I think a lot of the projectiles aren't getting to where they're supposed to, necessarily. I haven't upgraded it, so there's that. I haven't done a re-roll. Okay, yeah, this is kind of taking a while. Oops. Oops. Although, it does free us does free up a section of the brain to focus on movement, I guess. But that's any homing missile. How would Flame Lash do? 
Probably better. Not that much better, actually. No, I think this is probably... I, mean, I think I'm probably underestimating how good this is at this stage. Just because it's taking a minute. Ranger would be the way to go for this fight. Or maybe Summoner, because Summoner's really OP at the moment. Final section. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard to make it hit. Let's use flame lash. Much more effective in this situation. There we go. Still, it does fill a nice little niche of spraying stuff to block things like bats. Oh, it's so cheap to reforge. Alright, let's see the DPS on this thing. Let's see... Uh, let me just go quick stack some stuff. Pick that up again. For our DPS meter. If everything hits, it's over 500, or it's about 500 DPS. If everything hits. Meanwhile, the shotgun, without switching to Ranger, is comparable. But also, that's if everything hits. Yeah, maybe I just misremembered how long it takes to kill the slime god. Okay. Lionfish. Oh, that's this thing. Alt. Alright, let's put the shotgun away for now. And... And then. It's time to open the Abyssal Treasures. Um, let me just grab all these ancient thingamajigs and put them away in uh, building materials. Not the lionfish. Let's put this back. Alright. Flipper potion, hellfire arrow, adult stew, life and mana, those never work out so well. Only 50 seconds of potion sickness, and it gives us 120 life, though? Medium improvements to all stats, 60 minute duration. Interesting. An anechoic coating. Reduce this is what I was looking for. It's actually a potion. Reduces creatures' ability to detect you in the abyss. I still don't think I'm going back there until we're stronger. Um, Spelunker glow sticks. I didn't know that was a material. Oh, you, you can use it to make the metal detector. That's cool. Alright, so the only new thing we got out of that was Hadal Stew. I won't scoff at 60 minutes of medium stat bonuses. That's actually kind of nice. And the coating. How do I make the coating? Can I make the coating? Frost minnow. I used all of my frost minnows. That's unfortunate. Okay. 
Um, I'll definitely put that in the safe, where I'm mostly keeping occasional potions. Um, how else do you, I guess, can go in here? And lionfish goes in rogue weapons. Don't particularly want to hold on to sticky dynamite. Like, it's one more stack of stuff somewhere. Hey, Ragnarok. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, let's empty this stuff out. We also got... Treasure bag, the slime god. Oh, right, because I killed the slime god. That's probably why. Oh, I finally got this. A uh, crim slime staff. Summons a crim slime to fight for you. Oh, lovely. Thank goodness. How much damage does it do? 30? I don't think it's comparable to some of the other summons we've got. I'm good. How about you? Yeah, not too bad. Dark Lance. I think we already stacked those away here somewhere. Why am I not moving normally? Oh, that's might be why. And Philosopher's Stone. Still only goes into Charm of Myths. Uh, I think I have one or two regen rings in here somewhere. There we go. And that actually goes into three different things now. Band of Regeneration? No, that's the same thing. Charm of Myths and Mana Regen Band. I never end up using a Mana Regen Band because it doesn't give us, like, damage or anything. And we can just drink more Mana Potions. Whoops. Yeah, that looks like still the same dead end as it used to be. Alright, let's make ourselves Charm of Myths. Uh, it's also a material now. Deific Amulet. Stars to fall, immune time when damaged, provides life regen, and it's still a material. So it combines a couple of, um, it, it combines these two from vanilla, and it's still a material after that. Alright, I don't really have room in accessories for it at the moment though. Put that away. Uh, Crim Slime stuff can go in here. Shadow Chest number 50 or something. Go here, I guess. Blindfold. Do I have that yet? Apparently not. I don't think we have any of the other stuff that gets combined with. And Dark Lance. There's actually 91 melee damage, and we're not even wearing melee gear right now. That's something. Then again, the Enchanted Sword is already pretty crazy. Okay. Um, I think we're just about ready to break into hard mode. Should I do some protecting thing? Oh, what time of day is it? 11.30 p.m. Uh, can we get a gnome? Oh, wait. P.m. Why did I think p.m. was a.m.? Um, yeah, I should definitely make sure that this whole area is sealed off from the corruption. Sal Benzo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was going to say I'm pretty sure... Um, give me some sunflowers. Pretty sure the corruption won't get through this tree, but 
let's make sure of it. Did Calamity hard nerf the King Slime mount yet? No. What's why would it nerf the King Slime mount? We still get the massive increase in vertical speed from it. They will? That's a terrible idea. Alright. Let's say four on each side. It's only the grass tiles... Um, and stone, I guess, the, the corruption would be able to spread through. Or the crimson. The living wood tree itself is quite good at blocking it. Expect pretty soon for every fun thing from vanilla will get nerfed. Well, that's cringe. Big, fatty, fat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me make sure there's, I think it's six tiles of space between what's below me and what's above me here so that the uh, crimson won't spread up here. Or the hallow for that matter. going to do a pretty good job of blocking the rest. Probably. Hopefully. We need to go to the left. What does the title mean by blind? It means I'm not going to the wiki or anything like that. Um, I'm doing my best to avoid finding out stuff ahead of time. Uh, I just want to experience things as I run into them. Uh, Gyopi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I still have these crappy summons. Let's fix that. Guess the guide is his wiki? Pretty close to it. I've also got this mod. Um, that is basically the super guide. Uh, I, there's a setting with boss... What is it called? Boss log? Uh, it's like boss checklist. Um, the first time you open that, it's going to ask you if you want to play blind. I definitely went for that. You know what? It'd actually be kind of easier just to follow this all the way to here and make sure we put a barrier for spreading biomes that way, rather than digging up somewhere. The guide still doesn't tell anything about biomes and also triggers to face certain bosses and how strong they are, etc. So there's some blind elements there. Yeah, there is a bit, uh, there's a bit of a hint, obviously, from the boss checklist. Um, it does tell you what it thinks you should be doing next for a boss fight or for an event. Uh, it also tells you how to summon them and so on, but I'm fine with that. Why don't we get some mining potions, because I don't have that here. Uh, let's see. I need a spot to put down a safe, and I think I'll put mining potions in here from now on, that's what I was doing before. All 
All right, let's get a mining potion, and we've got the chisel, and pickaxe go burr. Fantastic. already safe. Dirt doesn't spread the crimson or anything. Let's just get the stone. And... How close are we? Kind of close. That is twenty three. I wish it wouldn't dig under my feet like that when I'm pointing up and left. It's probably one of the settings. Also, leaving a whole trail of various blocks behind me, but oh well. There? We are there. Let's make this a little bit more spacious just to be sure. In that stone. And we gotta watch out for the vines. The vines will get you when it comes to spreading the biomes. Uh, let's do a little block swap like this. And like this. And that should do it. I think that'll be okay. Do I want to bother with all of the other towns? That one's already safe. This one would be pretty easy to sort out if we have to. Jungle... We definitely need to protect the jungle. Um, best way to do that is to convert some of it into... Glowing Mushroom Biome. I don't feel like doing that right now. Let's just get started. And this goes here. Store this stuff away. We don't need one more sunflower. Whatever, I'll put it up here. Slime God Relic. I think I already placed that. Uh, yeah, that's it there. 
So I, I, I did look up exactly how many bosses there'd be, including vanilla bosses that drop relics. Uh, there's 59. And this is the best layout I could come up with, since that's a prime number. Um, otherwise, if we did put these relics down somewhere, the space that they would take up would be a little bit over the top, I think. And this goes here. And this goes here. And I don't really... This is a material? Oh, it just makes that thing. Never mind. Alright, let's sell this. Best game, indeed. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're just in time to see the Wall of Flesh. Or rather, the checklist before we fight the Wall of Flesh. I don't think we really need a Hunter Potion this time, or Danger Sense for that matter. Uh, we've got... Should we go Mage? I could use the Aqua Scepter to pierce through things. That should be fairly effective. Why not? Uh, we've already got Terra Spark Boots, so we don't have to worry about falling into lava. Brain of Confusion is OP with Calamity. Uh, dodges are just guaranteed and on a cooldown. We just no-sail one hit once every two minutes. Um, we need a dodge. That's the Shield of Cthulhu. I don't strictly need the Mana Flower. I can always just manually drink mana potions, but when you drink a mana potion, it does reduce your magic damage for a few seconds, so the reduced mana cost does actually sort of add up a little bit. I don't know how badly I need bundled balloons down there. Wings are nice. There's not a whole lot else to choose from accessory-wise right now, so that'll be fine, I think. And I'll definitely take a summon potion, so we can have one more minion. Uh, why don't we take a few, just so we can farm it. I should make some more mana, some magic damage potions, and mana regen potions. over 30. Uh, what do we need for Thorns Potions that we've run out of? Let's see. What? Oh, you're joking. Okay. I think what happened there was with this... Can I move this around? I thought I could. There, there we go. I should keep that away from inventory because if I click here to type something, it picks up the thing behind it, which is not what we're looking for. So let's put that, like, down here, I guess. Uh, Thorns Potion? Deathweed? Is that what we ran out of? Wormtooth, Stinger, Cactus. Uh, probably Wormtooth. Stinger, Cactus, Deathweed... I don't remember ever having worm teeth. I thought you only get that with coal. Oh, right. This is the version. No? We can make it with blood orbs. I don't want to spend blood orbs on these. Worm tooth? Only comes from devourers? How did I... Oh, can I buy thorns potions? Is that how I was getting them before? Uh, let's see. Who else sells potions? I don't think these guys do. Not combat stuff, anyway. I'm sure those two don't. Summoning potion... Oh, we will want 
Wrath and Rage. And Inferno, actually. I have 15, 16 plat. Okay, we're spending money to get these potions as opposed to using potion materials. That's uh, definitely the easier way to go about it right now. Um, what are you selling? Thorns. Fantastic. Give me 30. Um, what else? Swiftness. I could probably just make those, but whatever. We've got too much money, honestly. Ortica, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, life Force, I think I can only get with Blood Orbs because it's pretty hard mode. I'd like to stock up on a few of those. How, how many do we have? 900. Okay. This is fine. Um, and I think that's about it. Rather than go through all of my seafood dinners, I'll grab this, uh, where is it? Uh, Golden Delight. Wait, Golden Delight is a material now? What does it make? The c we need to... <laughs> Wait, what? It says it makes the camper, but... It's not listed here? That's weird. What about this thing? Same deal. I don't understand why Golden Delight is listing these two. Uh, well, whatever the case. Uh, we'll take our super rare food Just one buff for 48 minutes, major stat bonuses. That's how we're going to farm the Wall of Flesh. Uh, I think that's probably everything. Titan Potion doesn't really help. Heart Reach definitely does. Um, Featherfall? Featherfall couldn't hurt. We don't need archery. Uh, I already got some infernos. And what's this? Flipper? We don't need flipper. I think that's about it. Alright, so we're going to take our guide voodoo dolls. And we're going to go all the way down here to the right. Uh, in the underworld. We're going to drink our buff potions. Oh, I should do... I should bring whatever I want to resummon with me as well. I'll put it in the piggy bank. But we'll definitely go for flame imps. Other than these two laser thingies. Actually, why don't I just keep it like that? Alright, down we go. Don't want to kill any of those just yet. In fact, since I'm carrying the stuffs to resummon that stuff, let's just turn that stuff off for a moment. I'm not digging through all of this stuff just yet, because, uh, until I've killed the Wall of Flash at least once. Um, I, I'm not digging a hole through all of these buildings uh, because of the arenaless challenge. If the Wall of if we if the Wall of Flash chases us all the way to the Demon Town. Um, We've pretty much lost, probably. So 
slime is falling from the sky. Not interested right now, thank you. there almost. Going is going to be a bit faster from here on out. I didn't visit this place yet. We'll do it later. Check out gear. Seems good. And we're here. Uh, let's redo our buffs real quick. Actually, no, it should be fine. We've got like eight minutes. Uh, I need to redo my summons, actually. This is a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's stronger than I thought it was. I need these two to not die above lava, though. Could you please... Could you be persuaded to stop? Oh, no. Okay. Buff. Okay, okay. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Not quite as planned. Um, summon. All, all the imps, please. All of the imps. Fantastic. Good enough. Yeah, um, Calamity makes it so that boss summoning items don't get consumed when you use them. But there is no regular boss summoning item for the Wall of Flesh. So instead they make it so that almost every demon is a voodoo demon. I need, don't need the map covering my target right now. How's our damage? Not great, actually. But we already got all the hungries out of the way, pretty much. Oh, I need to aim for the eyes. The eyes uh, take a bit more damage. Maybe I should spam these homing things. So I don't have to think about aiming. No, we're not getting as much damage, I'm pretty sure. What are we at? 70%? Now. Oh. I'm more worried about damaging than avoiding damage at this stage. Maybe I made a mistake picking mage for this. Or maybe I just shouldn't be using the... Um, Maybe I just shouldn't be using the Aqua Scepter still. Is that damage over time working on the Wall of Flesh? We're down to 47. Yeah, I think it's working. Alright, that helps. What a lovely sound. I think we are going to end up running out of space and finding ourselves at the demon town at this rate. Oh, yep. We've got almost no room left. This is bad. Oh, no. Oh, no.
It's gonna get faster, is the thing. Okay. I gotta watch out for when I have to zigzag through the buildings. Because it is gonna come to that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, too close, too close, too close, too close. Knockback is sending me the wrong way. Alright, okay, alright. This is bad. Oh, I don't know how to get through here. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Um... We were actually, like, what, 2% off? If I just... If I just had a little bit more damage. Do I want to try Mage again? Or... That's not going to be that good. That's not going to be that good. I think I should probably just bust out the Ranger. Four percent, indeed. Rip. Forty-eight minute buff as well. Not to mention all the buff potions. Oh, I should have used the bees. Maybe. Maybe. You know what? I want to try it. I, I want to try this for for the memes. What do I have here? I'm looking for menacing. I think I'll have to re-roll one of them. Wait, we're, we're gonna we're gonna pull a not the bees on the wall of flesh. Don't sell it. Menacing? Menacing. Fantastic. I'll have to manually consume mana potions because I don't want to swap out any other accessories than the mana flower. Who gets killed by bees? <laughs> uh, wait. I stacked it away. Where is it? Menacing... I don't know where my hive pack that I just re-rolled went. Okay. Is it in here? No. Is it in here? I could also spawn bees when I take damage. But I'm curious as to where I just quick stacked away the thing that I just re-rolled, though. I don't know where else I was keeping hive packs. I might just have to re-roll it again. It's not under mage stuff. That kid from my girl? Oh no. Where on earth... Oh! I found it. And this shouldn't have been in here. Alright. Let's stack that other one away. I'm thinking... We don't really need the bundle of balloons. Or maybe we don't really need the wings? Because it's not that much altitude. No, I think I'll try it without the bundle of balloons and swap these things in. See what the movement is like there. And then we need a B gun. Reforge to mythical. Fantastic. And I'll swap that out for 
Probably the slime puppet stuff. Let's put this in here again. I actually think we were better off with just imps than with either of these for that boss. So I'll put these away for now. And... Uh... Amaluf Power, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we've only got 644 mana potions. I think that'll be enough, though. Oh, why don't we... Why don't we see just how strong these bees are? Oh, wow. They're, um, stronger than expected, to be honest. Now that I think about it, I've never actually tried it, but a lot of people use bee nades against the wall of flesh. So this might actually be really, really good. They're so much faster. Did Calamity buff them? Well, whatever the case. Um, let's grab our... Where's my Flame Imp stuff? Oh, here it is. Because our food is gone. Alright. Seafood dinners. I'm excited. Okay. Actually, this is a good test. Let's see exactly how strong they really are. Pretty strong, actually. And they cost hardly any mana. So we're not even going to have the, um, the damage debuff most of the time. is surprisingly effective. Oops, get let me out, let me out, let me out. Maybe I shouldn't bother with the Brain of Confusion if we're definitely going to take lots of little hits against this boss. Oh, and I just realized I'm not even using the Bundle of Balloons. So yeah, I think we don't really need the Bundle of Balloons that badly. Especially down there. Okay, that was a good test. I think this will work quite well, actually. All of test uh, flesh should red acted very afraid. Um, I don't feel like dealing with my inventory here for now, so let's just go. the summon until we get there. I should have tried this sooner.
And I was muted, I think. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just realizing, oh yeah, we do have a double jump because of the uh, Staticel armor set. Which is very, very helpful when we just gave up an inventory slot uh, with our double jump item. Not inventory slot, accessory slot. I want to play this so bad, T-Hex, you make everything look so fun. <laughs> Um, thank you. You got me playing, uh, shooters again a little bit, actually. Not the only influence in that direction, but definitely helped, didn't help, whatever, whichever way you want to look at it. Are we there yet? Mm, nope. The nice thing with homing missiles is I can really just focus on movement as well. Perfect, I'm glad we can both be a questionable influence. Indeed. Alright, we're here. Um, first of all, we've still got our Bewitched. Let's summon some Flame Imps. And all of the other buffs. And that is actually not a Voodoo Demon for once. So let's drop this. How do I drop just one if... Oh, here we go. Uh, where's my bees? There we go. Whoops. Oh, I, I need to remember to consume mana potions. We're already 10% down. I think we're going to be fine. And I can avoid line of sight as well, for the most part. half done. This is so much stronger. Oh, I should be using the anti-knockback shield. You know what, I think that's more important than this. Because, for some reason, it's knocking us back towards the wall of flesh, and that's particularly unhelpful. We'll lose a little bit of damage, we won't get a regen buff when we take damage, and we won't spawn even more bees when we take damage. In fact, now that I say that out loud, let's swap that for the Brain of Confusion. Much better. That's a lot of laser. Fantastic. Alright, let's grab the loot. I think we got everything we did. Grimtain blocks actually look kind of nice. Maybe I'll use those for the uh, self-lit uh, elevator. Deleting him? Yep. Uh, let's do it again. Make the most of our buff potions. And while we're down here as well. Yep. 
Hermit's box of 100 medicines. The waves and they are. Summons the third sage. This is some wild calamity stuff. Um, I should probably open this first. Actually. We get the demon heart, which gives us one more accessory slot. Um, and I guess that will be bundle of balloons, maybe? Uh, what else did we pick up? Sorcerer emblem, perfect. Uh, that's another 16% magic damage right there. We also get a laser rifle. Um, I think I will head back to where we started the fight, but... I need a break anyway. I'll go Potion of Return. I'll quickly re-roll the laser rifle and the summoner, the sorcerer emblem. Um, and I'll figure out what accessory I'm going to sacrifice here for the next fight. Let's get some words on stream going. Oh, my stream has been silently playing in the background. That probably hasn't helped the frame rate, etc. Alright, words on the stream. When you swapped at the end, he was going down so fast, indeed. Oh, the five the five armor penetration made that much difference? I wonder how much defense I didn't really have time to look, but I think that modded boss health bar um shows you how much defense the boss has. I don't suppose anyone saw that. Let's get some words on stream. I need to copy link. I think. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue bullying the wall of flesh. Um, we've got several items that we need to get. Uh, for one thing, we need one emblem for each class. I'm not entirely sure what I want to swap out to use it. Probably the obsidian shield. Probably. So we're going we're going all in on damage because that's the main thing with the wall of flesh. Um, where does the wall of flesh relic go? Let's see. Right after the slime god. Nice. And what is this? Equipable as the ice melts in the springs and waves wash the old moss's hair. Moss hair. Thank you. Goodbye. Box of 100 medicine summons the third sage. Oh, this is... Is this a pet? No? What? Why does it sound like drinking a potion? Um... What does it even do? D did I have one too many minions? No? Let's shut the door. I actually don't know what this is doing. With the blessing, the player will spawn at full health rather than half. Oh. Use the item with right click in the hotbar to toggle the third sage's blessing? Uh, okay. You've been blessed by the third sage. O okay. That... I'm not overly excited about that. At least not in single player, I guess? I don't know. Let's put this banner away. Stack this away. Make sure this is empty. It's nowhere near empty. Uh, let's put Pwn Hammer here. Sell the Silver Hammer. That was just there as a symbol. Where's the merchant? Did the merchant die? No, oh, he's right here. Oh, we're selling new stuff. Defiled flame die. Okay. Here, have a hammer. And, um... Chill Jelly, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, did we empty this yet? Not really. Crimson key. Oh, wow. We got the crimson key. When did that happen? How did that happen? Treasure bag, slime god, don't care right now. Alright. We did open the wall of flesh. Wait, why do we have two sorcerer emblems? Oh, because we killed it twice. And we just happened to get sorcerer emblem both times. Okay. Wall of flesh dropped it, indeed. Alright, let's head back. Did I... Yeah, we've got our return portal here. We've still got, like, zero seconds, actually, on all of our buffs. Uh, let's redo these ones. And... Buff. And drop. Some of my buff potions are going to run out at different times, so I have to remember to re-up them. rather effective, to say the least. I could almost see myself out 
Never mind. I wasn't going to say that I could see myself beating the wall of flesh without taking damage. I would never suggest such a thing. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button for mana now for some reason. I did change it recently, but still, it's kind of weird. Considering I had no problem with it before. I think we're good. Yeah. Well, it's not underestimated at the last minute, but as long as we don't do that, uh, this is pretty much a gimme at this stage. Let's do it again. How close did we get to the demon village? I could probably summon it right here, but let's not be that reckless. The mana stars that the little minions leave behind are certainly helpful as well. Because mana potions give you the... Damage debuff, mana stars do not. Oh, that is so many. Alright. Uh, let's make some room. I don't think I'm going to be needing the mana flower. Alright. Let's do this once more. What? Did I miss? Oh, the guide hasn't returned yet. I fall for that sometimes. Luckily, uh... Ow. Luckily, it's not like in vanilla where we just wasted a precious resource. But... I don't think the guide is coming back until morning. Which is going to be three minutes... That was rude. Yeah, I should have started it at like... 2am or something. Like right now. I don't particularly want to waste a potion of return, but I don't want to sit here for two minutes either. What would I actually do for two whole minutes? This thing just seems a whole lot weaker. I mean, it is. If we're using the uh, hive pack, this is just a much weaker version of the bees. Just tell us a story? Uh, I don't know what story to tell on command. Once upon a time, there was a giant eldritch wall of flesh. Uh, oh, I should have re-rolled the, um, I should have re-rolled the laser rifle, actually. It's one of my favorite weapons. It's incredibly precise, very quick, pierces through, like, two or three enemies, I think. Uh, and it's pretty low mana cost for what it does. It's a material now? Hell yes. It goes into a bow. That's kind of weird. Mythical, please. There we go. I feel that I've seen a Twitch stream like that. <laughs> Tell us about the time you got kicked off a bus. I don't think I've ever been kicked off a bus. Oh. And these are hard mode enemies. We just went from being very strong to very weak compared to most things in the game. Alright, guide should be respawning in as little as 15 seconds and as much as 
significantly more than that. Ooh, what are these guys selling? You're selling ammo boxes? That's fantastic. We don't have to, like, hope and pray that the traveling merchant will bring them. Nice. Uh, how about... The nurse doesn't sell anything anyway. The clothier is selling golden keys. Just in case we run out. I, I also noticed earlier these can be turned into shadow keys. So you never have to worry that you're going to stupidly sell the last one of them. I'm not seeing anything new here. Was it invisibility potion? Probably. The dryad... Uh, is not selling new potions, I don't think. I don't think she was selling deathweed planters before. And there might be another couple of cosmetic things. Also, now that it's hard mode, if we come back to her during the blood moon, I think it is, she'll sell, uh, is it viscous powder? Vile powder? Whatever it is, um, it lets us make the opposite evil biome from the one that was spawned into this world. I'm trying to talk to... Uh... Why, why am I blanking on it? Witch Doctor. The guide is back. Our buffs are just about to run out. There's no, there's no rush. Although the more, the earlier we kill the Wall of Flesh, the more times he's going to spawn during the day. Um, nothing new here until we come back at night. And he'll actually sell us some decent wings. What do we have? Party hair dye, biome hair dye, time hair dye, mana hair dye, life hair dye. That's what I'm wearing. That's why my... You may not have noticed, but the beard actually gets darker the lower in health I get. And what do we have here? Horse mounts, jousting lads. Okay. Oh, what about the golfer, I suppose? Nothing? What's your quest fishing quest? Caught in honey. I don't particularly feel like doing that right now. These guys aren't selling anything new. What was that? I don't think I looked at that before. Oh yeah, stink potion. Never mind. Alright. Oh, the merchant has something for us. Uh, I think it's Titan Potion, which I don't care very much about. Also, Gold Dust, which can be used to make golden bullets and stuff. Party Hair Dye for sure, indeed. Uh, probably the Party Girl has something for us as well. Alright, let's go back. Do I even need to buff up this much for the Wall of Flesh? I don't think so. So let's maybe just go for, like... Magic Power? I think Mana Regen only works if we stop shooting. Thorns... We really don't need that much this time. And thank you for the follow, uh... Dare here, dare here. Welcome, welcome. Hope you don't know. It seems the bees do tend to go for the mouth, which is lower damage, but whatever. Oh, I should swap out and do the damage over time thing as well. I keep thinking three would be the bees, so let's make it three.
Mm, health's a bit low. Maybe I should have eaten had these already. I think we get a little extra damage from seafood dinner as well, actually. Magic weapon proficiency has gone up. Fantastic. I guess, yeah, killing bosses would be the fastest way to grind a bunch of damage. Okay, you know what? I should have done the rage and uh, whatever it is. Plus 10% damage, plus 10% crit. I should have done that. If only so that we farm it faster. Oops. Goat skull. Fantastic. This is actually... Not a very good mount for where we are right now, but it can run very, very fast left and right. Crimson key? We got another one? I think Calamity may have made that easier to obtain. Call it a hunch. Ooh, we got the Clockwork Assault Rifle. And a Warrior Emblem. What is this? Staunch Meow Thrower? Oi, 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 oi. 50% chance to not consume gel. Oh, wow. Wow, that is... Fires blue and pink flames that emit meows on enemy hits. 72 range damage, and we're not even ranger right now. Jeez. Blast barrel. 42 rogue damage. Lol. <laughs> Very strong knock. Stealth strike. Make the barrel bounce twice before disappearing with varied effects. Some people used to jump over these. Meow indeed. We've actually got two clockwork assault rifles already. Oh, it's a material. What does it make? Lock Gatlig Gatlig Num? Sounds good. Um and we have yet another. No, we are yeah, we have three Sorcerer's Emblems now. So we've got Sorcerer, Melee, and nothing else. There's three other classes um, that we don't have emblems for yet. We have the Guide. I should have started the fight again by now. And I won't be cheap with my potions this time. I should go get some proper wings. Oh, we're here already. Nice. Alright, buffs. Uh, that's a problem, actually. Guide Voodoo Doll. Drop. And let's go. It's weird, I keep pressing B 
for my mana potions right now. It's I've never used B for mana. B has always been buff potions. I think that's the default. I changed it to the thumb mouse button. So I don't have to reach across the keyboard for it. Hardly ever even having to drink a mana potion because it's always a it's always a trail of mana stars to take advantage of. Fantastic. What do we get? Uh, another laser. Wait, how many things did we just get? Good grief. I'm actually full. We need to go back. Yeah, I think we get, like, a lot more in one drop than we used to. Alright, let's stash some of this away. I don't need another 100 medicines thingy. Uh, we already had that. We already have that. What are we trying to get? Um, so the emblems that give 15% increased damage for a specific class. I want to get one for each class is the main thing. There's also a decent weapon uh, for each class. Let's stack all this stuff away. Oh, I still haven't... Alright, I'll shove these in here for now. These obsidian and hellstone towers were once home to thousands of people. Unfortunately for them, they were twisted by their inner demons until they were beyond saving. I see the deed is done. The unholy amalgamation of flesh and hatred has been defeated. Prepare to face the horrors that lurk in the light and dark places of this world. Fantastic. Um, let's put these blocks in here. Is the crimson key for opening this chest? Well, we wouldn't be able to until after Plantera. There it is, crimson chest. So that's not for a while. Um, I'll put it in here, I suppose. I don't need another slime god relic. Hellfire arrows go here. Um, summoner emblems go in this chest. I don't have a ranger emblem, actually. Oh, I meant to say sorcerer emblem, but yeah, we've got summoner now. Whoops. And warrior emblem. So we're only missing Ranger and, um, I, w I was going to say Shinobi, the Rogue. We already got Firecracker, that's cool. Fire Blossom Seeds, Living Fire Block. I guess we don't have a guide. We do have a guide. It's almost night time, so we're just going to get one more run. I should do it right now while I've got buffs. Where is the portal? That'll be okay, I think. Trying to make the most of these mana stars.
Oh, I wasted my buff potions again. Rip. It's fine. It's just money. It's so much easier to get potions in Calamity than vanilla, because you can just buy them for the most part. And the ones that you can't just buy, you can get with blood orbs. That you get every blood moon. So you don't necessarily have to go fishing in specific places for certain things. We are running out of room, though. Okay, this could be bad. This could be bad. This could be... There we go. It's fine. Nothing... This is... This is... This is fine. This is normal. Don't worry about it. Alright. Back we go. Pew pew, indeed. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, what do we have? Oh, I haven't opened two of the bags yet. There's... Are you kidding? I got everything but Ranger. Okay, fine. I guess we're just not playing Ranger for a little while. Rogue Emblem can go in here. Uh, spare summoners and sorcerers get stacked away. We don't need any more pwn hammers. Uh, I guess I'll stash the extra laser rifles for the moment. Unlucky? Yeah. What else did we have? A lot of Clockwork Assault Rifles. We got that cool Flamer. Breaker Blade. Does how much damage? 141. Jeez. Deals more damage to unhurt enemies as well. Um, and what's this? Black Hawk Remote summons a Black Hawk jet. Oh. Summons a Black Hawk jet to fight for you. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. As if it hadn't already, the shark has officially been jumped. It doesn't seem to... Oh, 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 oh. Doesn't seem all that powerful. Hello, I have a question. I have two endgame characters, one ranger, one mage. They used to easily kill Moonlord, and now they barely get into second phase. Uh... I think I get the implicit question, but... I don't know of any patches that were done or anything like that. Stack that away. Stack that away. Definitely going to enjoy this one. It's a material as well. Wait, what was the name of that? Elemental Eruption. That's kind of cool. Let's sell these. Yeah, I don't think... I don't know, they probably do more damage, but... I don't think these are as good as, like, the Eye of Cthulhu thing, for example. 
So how much damage was it? 44 or something? And this is 48. Where did I put it? Uh, it's probably still in here. Whatever, we'll sort it out. Meow yeah, thrower gets stuck away. I'm not using an aqua scepter anymore. This is not the mage storage area. Actually, how much damage does the aqua scepter do? 36, and this is 80. Okay, never mind. Not even close. Black Hawk Remote, 40 summon damage versus 48 on the eye, actually. Although we can only have one eye. Plus, I haven't made this ruthless yet. Let's see. Uh, it's exactly the same. Same damage per shot. Except I think the eye is going to be a lot quicker and more consistent. Ashen... We pick up a million of those, so I'm going to put that in there so that we can quick stack it. I see, thanks, no worries. The faith, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Don't need any more bone hammers. Oh, there was something I forgot to do before hard mode. I noticed, I don't know when this happened, but Aerolite can be mined. So maybe I should get some more of that. This is like just having one more eye almost, which is not bad. Should probably close this. I want to kill the twins so that I can get, what is it called, Soul of Sight? Um. I can make something that gives us sort of a better trapdoor. It's going to be fully automatic. Not so well, I have to kill Moon Lord, but I don't know how anymore. Need a Wrath and Meow Mare, other than that. I have anything for Zenith. Oh, you have everything else, I see. Oh, what are you selling? I don't know what is new that you're selling, but it's just cosmetic, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, I need to move one of these guys, I think, to make room for the truffle. What was I coming here for? Oh yeah, deathweed, because it's blooming. Give me that. Deathweed seeds. This is light. Indeed. Oh, we got a moon charm already. That's nice. gonna throw the extra deathweed seeds in here and I need to tell one of these guys to GTFO. I think we've got an extra player, not player, we've got an extra NPC shack down here. I'll put the painter there and it's 5 a.m. that's technically daytime so it's gonna be a while before they move. What does boss checklist say is next, I wonder? Oh, 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 um, let's summon the goblin army. Uh, I'm rushing this a little bit. Let's put this where it actually belongs. Mounts that I'm not using can go here somewhere. 
wall of flesh relic. Did I put this down already? I did. Okay. Uh, I want to summon the goblin army because it's like one of the weakest hard mode events and we could get a shadow flame knife which is pretty good very very good for early hard mode how do you make calamity go on master mode uh it's just a setting when you generate the world same as same as always oh we've got a we've got a sandstorm i don't know if we can actually get sandstorm enemies because this is a town but if i go over to the right maybe just here will work if not i'll go to the right of the main town Nope, the goblin army is here as well. Uh, okay, I guess we can do both at the same time. Sand sharks are a great way to get shark fins. Oh, apparently not. So most of the goblin army in hard mode is the same as pre-hard mode. But sometimes you get summoners. I think the goblins are going to prevent all of the other spawns. The desert spawns. I guess we'll just have to kill them good and quick. I can't believe how effective the bees meme is. Then again, maybe I can. Here we go. Here's our friend. Do I get that damage over time on them? The bees are just too strong. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is going on? What is murdering the frame rate? This only happens with mods. Or only with Calamity, as far as I can tell. Well, that was relatively easy. I'm sad we didn't get to see the meow weapon. Uh, do you mean the... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is what we're here for. Okay, that has a lot of hit points. Like, too many, actually. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to kill this yet. But, no, I probably should, because we get, like, some really good hybrid early hard mode armor out of this. Ow. Okay, that's pretty dangerous. Let's use all of the buffs, actually. I'm not gonna underestimate this thing. Even though it seems like I have to derp my way into getting hit by it. That can happen. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let's let's be a bit more careful. Holy crap, why? Why? How do the sharks know where to be? I should just stay in the air as much as I can. Oh, and we've got this mini-boss. Please don't tell me it despawned. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Could you 
please? Could you please die now? Oh my goodness. Please. But holy crap. Please just die so I can leave. Oh no. Is that it? Alright. We're backing off for a moment. I need to kill, I think, three or four of those. Came here to check Factorio mods if you use a mod for editor toggle and got stuck watching Terraria for an hour or so. Good job. Uh, you're welcome. And the mod is called Editor Extensions. And you want to go into... I think it's per player settings? It's the third tab, whatever that is. Um, and there's actually a setting for the lab. Oh, maybe I should use... Oh, hello. Maybe I should use this. Maybe that's a bit more effective at this point. Yeah, I think laser rifle a bit stronger. So I should probably stop with the bees already. I mean, the bees are very good for some things, but not this. Alright, one or two to go. Ow. Let's heal up. Rip bees. Yeah, they served us well. Oh my goodness. Hunter potion. I don't have one. Why not? It's you again. Okay, yeah, the laser rifle is a lot stronger. At least for single targets. Which is kind of ironic, because usually I hold on to the laser turret for a long time because it's good at multi-targets. Ow! Okay, okay. That didn't hurt as much as expected. Since when do sh sand sharks not drop shark fins? Is that just calamity or did they change it? Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Ow. Yeah, they really don't drop shark fins now. Uh, how many forbidden fragments did we get? I think it was three. That should be enough for the armor, but not for the weapon, I think? Let's have a look. 12.5%. So did we really just kill like 17... We got one shark fin out of that. Well, there it is. That was pretty unlikely. It was somewhat unlikely. Uh, what do we have here? Forbidden Fragments. Oh yeah, the Spirit Flame, that's actually terrible. Unless Calamity changes it or something. 
uh, forbidden mask, robes, and treads. And it's actually a mage and summoner hybrid set. We need the third tier of hard mode metals as well, but I'm really glad that we've got these three fragments ready ahead of time. Looks like Calamity also adds a whole lot of other stuff that we can do with this. Uh, the other thing I want is its physical opposite. Uh, we need to kill ice golems. They're about as strong as the things we just killed. Um, and they drop something very similar. Uh, hard mode, vanilla stuff goes here. And I think I'll put this away for the moment. Goblin Sorcerer Banner. We didn't kill 50 of them. I guess you don't have to. And let's stack this stuff away. Alright, I don't think I actually finished sorting my inventory before. What is this? Unreal Shadow Flame Bow. Um, yes. I'll definitely give that a go. If I play Ranger anytime soon. Nice indeed, Rust Panda. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't need any more plasma rods. They're incredibly easy to come by. Goblin Archer Banner. Corruption Key. Yeah, these are incredibly easy to get in Calamity. I haven't even seen Corruption or Crimson. Uh, where was I keeping these? In the summoning chest. Alright. Banners in here. And... Quick stack. Quick stack. I don't think I have any shark fins right now. I have two. I have three now. And what's this? Arcane Elemental in a Bottle. Summons a sand elemental to fight for you. Oh my good grief. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a little bit of people playing later game summoner in Calamity, and they've got like at least three big weird things floating around on the screen at all times. So I guess this is the first one that we get. I I don't know that I want to play that way, to be honest. It doesn't seem very good. In fact, it seems really, really derpy. Oh, that's a turtle. I should not be here right now. Aziz Light, indeed. Uh, let's put that away for now. Is this... no. Let's make sure the door is closed. Wait, what? Oh, I still have it. Never mind. I was gonna say... Alright, um, I guess I'll... oh, it's a material as well. Summons all elementals to protect you. Wow. For one accessory. We got a mechanical skull. Don't know when, don't know how, not complaining. Uh, Skeletron Prime. Are we ready for Skeletron Prime? I don't think so. We're wearing 
we're wearing pre-hard mode armor. Even if Skeletron Prime is... Oh crap! Oh crap! Nope! 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 I know if I go deep enough it doesn't spawn, but it looks like it doesn't despawn if we go deep enough. Um. So we're just gonna. Oh, rip tavern keep. Okay. I can't teleport home. Yes, I can. Never mind. Um. Yeah. So can I not use magic mirror? I can. Alright, I don't want to waste any more potion of returns. They're relatively expensive. Um, let's teleport over this way. You can't use the pylon network right now. Okay. 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 We're just gonna run away until morning. And the destroyer is gonna come back again someday. I like how I was literally just talking about how we're not ready for a mechanical boss. And uh, here is a mechanical boss. I can't use this while we're close. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, um, you know what? Potion of Return. I have... I have the teleportation potions somewhere. Where are they? Or do I? 17 recall potions. I hope those work as well. So we did, yeah, we did get the warning, I just didn't see it. Our friend is, is catching up. Please tell me I can use regular, um, recall potions for this. If, it must be an oversight if we're able to use potion of return and nothing else. Could just dodge around like this all day, I guess. We're gonna have trouble when we get to space. Because we can't fall as fast. Alright, let's try teleporting. It doesn't work. It's only potion of return. Okay, let's try and not use them all up tonight. If I stay high enough above the destroyer, it seems like we're going to be okay, actually. Just got to keep running. What time is it? 12.36. We need to keep this up for four minutes. I've, I've dealt 3% damage to him. Probably gonna get a wyvern spawning sooner or later. In fact, I'm surprised it hasn't happened already. Tuned in at the right moment, indeed. Okay, we actually can change direction without dying, so that's good. Three more minutes. I think we'll be fine. I think mobs don't spawn while a boss is active. Sometimes. 
I think you can kill him 95%. He goes away at morning, so we, we'd only have three minutes, less than three minutes left to kill him. But yeah, we've certainly got the mobility with this crazy sword to survive him. Obviously. 93%, let's go, <laughs> you got this. Oh, that's the wrong way. Don't go that way. Let's get some altitude while we've got time. Oh, there's the hallow. I was wondering where that was. Oh, it's right next to the crimson. So the crimson's not going to creep towards our home. That's good. We've probably got a hallowed desert to the right of spawn. Or we will. Uh oh. I hope there's not some island that I haven't discovered yet in the sky here. Uh, we got one minute and 20 seconds to go. Can you not touch the ground? Uh, I can, but I'll get caught much, much more easily. We are not ready to fight this thing. Maybe if I went melee class... You know what? If we, if we get this thing spawning again... If I see the message straight away and I have a little moment to prepare, I could try mail. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay, 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 okay. I could try going melee class version of this armor and just dodging around it with this sword, and we'll be doing more damage with the uh, the little homing things that come out. We got fifty. We did 15%. I spent more than half the night, like, a significant distance away from it, so we weren't dealing damage. So maybe. It's worth a try. Like, it's not going to be that dangerous to try it. Summon a six planes or something in this sword? Maybe. There's certain, uh, certain gear that is much, much, much better at dealing damage to the destroyer than other things because it's a giant segmented boss. In fact, I could try getting one of those right now. Do it. Try it. The melee build. How much damage does this do? 90? And if we go melee build with this armor, it's 104. Yeah, I think that'll be worth a try. It'll be less of a do we die and more of a can we kill it in time question. Probably. Uh, but I think now's a good time to take a little break. Let's do... Some words on stream. I'll be back in a few minutes. We'll start words on stream in 30 seconds. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Rust Panda, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
Oh, I forgot to put it on the screen, didn't I? Rip. My bad. Oh wait, the uh, time is different from what it's showing on my screen, so we've got plenty of time, actually. Nope, no we do not. Rip. Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue, shall we? And I should really prepare for the next boss fight, because it could come with very little warning. Um, we've got some pretty good stuff we can make with the blood orbs that I don't usually make. Um, where is it? Greatly increases wing flight time and speed and increases defense by 16. Good grief. We need some fancy stuff I don't have for that. Uh, where was it? There's so much. Crumbling potion? That's for melee specifically. Triumph Potion. Enemy contact damage is reduced. The lower their health, the more it is reduced. Well, may as well take that. I didn't actually take any... Uh, what are they called? Endurance Potions. We can just buy those now, as opposed to fishing. Oh, the Demolitionist. No, it was the Tavern Keep died. I don't particularly want to fall all the way down there right this minute. Um, how did I get a white torch in my inventory? Where did I pick that up from? Oh, here it is. Get out of here. Alright. Uh, random food in here. Demon torch in here. 
Imp stuff should be in storage. Oh, I already have this. And... Let's consult the boss log. What does boss log think we should be doing first? They're all question marks? Is it because I haven't killed this thing yet that we need the corruption for? Or, uh, no, I think, I think these were all question marks until we'd killed them, right? Uh, oh, that's the pirate invasion. Yeah, these are, oh, that's an event, okay. And then Flying Dutchman, whatever. Pirate Invasion is actually really dangerous. We don't want that yet. Not without current gear. Queen Slime. Queen Slime gives us some pretty good mage slash ranged hybrid stuff. Cryogen. The Twins. Destroyer. Acid Rain? What? Post AS. What's AS? Brimstone Elemental. Spooky. Let's have a look at where our biomes are. So this is all still vanilla. We've got Hallow over here creeping its way towards the desert. Um, I actually think I would like the desert to be like... Because there's only two deserts, right? There's this little one to our left. And there's this little one to our right. Um, I think I would like the desert to be half of each biome. Aquatic Scourge. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I should probably get like some Crimson Stone, put it here, and some Pearl Stone and put it here. And I think slash hope we have guarded against the Crimson spreading through this way. Um, I did notice as we fell down this way, we've got... As I was falling away from the destroyer, I noticed this music track uh, for the underground hallow. Which is what we want over our, like, demolitionist and tavern keep. Because something is going to spread over them. We don't want the crimson. I should probably be smashing some crimson altars with the pwn hammer. A tiny pwn hammer. Nice. Whoops. Look at a little baby pwn hammer. Uh, so that we can get the hard mode ores. We've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As far as I can see, I mean, there's more down this way, but I can only actually see ten. If I dig in here, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen crimson altars. I guess that'll have to do. Okay. Let's make some endurance potions. Actually, I don't have the fish for it. I need to fish up armored cave fish. That'll actually give us some hard mode ores as well, I think. Let's do a little fishing. Uh, for that... Well, we're gonna lose our... set bonuses anyway. I was going to say we should go summon, but not really. Uh, we need fishing rod. 
we need bait and we need fishing potions great potion would be good and as many minions to protect us as possible what oh our maximum is two in that case yeah get rid of the sun thingy Alright, down we go. Hopefully don't run into anything too spooky before we even get here. Fantastic. What are you selling now? Gender change potion? And I think that's the only new thing. Okay. I never was able to get these so casually. You have to get quite a few ingredients together for them normally. Doesn't look all that different. Um, I think I need to take damage. Oh, strange plant. I need an enemy to bump into. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I need to change my hairstyle. Otherwise you wouldn't even know. Oh, I could take off my fall damage resistance. Uh, Was that not... Yep, there we go. Indeed. Uh, what was I doing? Fishing. Let's do it. Fishing potion, sonar potion, crate potion, all of the fishing buffs. And a body of water that is at least 300 tiles. That's 300 tiles without, like, overhanging rocks or something. I think those tiles below that don't count. Already got a couple of crates. What is that sexy plane? It's a summon. It's a... Uh, it is a Blackhawk fighter jet. We're not getting much luck with the uh, pulling up of the catch right now. Aziz Very sexy. Light. Aziz light? There's plenty of light. Besides, I've already got the Shine Potion active. OMG Fighter Jet. <laughs> Want? If we go Summoner, we could have like... Well, at this stage, the maximum would probably be... 3, 4... If I drink a potion, 5? I could have 5 of these following me around. How many, um... We already got seven armored cave fish, that's fantastic. Three mithril crates. How to get this awesome fighter jet? Uh, you need the Calamity mod. And I don't actually remember what dropped it, to be honest. our buffs. Oops. I think there's a way to see... Yeah, there it is. 29 seconds left on the crate potion. Oh, what time is it as well? As soon as the fishing is done, if it's daytime, I want to go get a gnome statue. 
And then we'll get another luck potion before we open the crates. Look at his turbine working, so cute. <laughs> He's doing his best, okay. Alright, let's do another crate potion. I should have done more fishing quests. I'm really not liking the uh, fishing reel breaking. Good grief. You have wrong armor equipped? Uh-oh. That's not helping. Thank you. We'll still get the line breaking, but we have more fishing power now anyway. Dr. Magras, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seven crates so far. Make it eight. Spell more, take care. Thanks for hanging out. What was that? Oh, this ran out. I was watching that. Golden Cup. Oh, I saw a I saw a certain YouTube video. Um, someone who likes to collect shinies like Pokemon and stuff, rare drops. Uh, spent I think it was more than twenty four hours fishing for the Golden Cup. Thing is, they were fishing at the ocean. You can't get the golden carp at the ocean. And it shouldn't take anything like, I don't know, one hour to get a golden carp. Like, worst case. Glimmering... what? What was that? Glimmering gemfish. Oh, I've seen this. Right click to extract gems. I think we'll stop once we run out of crate potion. I'm not that worried about getting the last couple of minutes of value out of this. stack. And this can go in there as well. Um, where was I going? Oh, that's right. We want a gnome. It's night time. 9.30pm. Thank you for the follow- the faith. Uh, so what was my next plan after the gnome? Luck potion? Let's use our fishing time on this, actually. If we don't get another pearl, um, I'll just use... I think I can use uh, blood orbs to get a luck potion. What's that timer at? 20 seconds.
Whoops. I was sure that was gonna tick right there. Alright, potions are gone. Did I run out of bait as well? No. Nope. Me through a crate. Fantastic. Alright, let's equip our old die for luck. Let's open these oysters. We got a white pearl and a black pearl. Fantastic. Let's see how many potions we get. We got three lesser luck potions. That's pretty lucky. And... I won't wait for the gnome. We've got the die. We've got the luck potion. Let's open these crates. Gimme, gimme. And I don't think we had any more. Alright, what did we get? Uh, we got the Enchanted Sundial. Fantastic. We can skip a day like once a week, I think it is. Uh, tsunami in a bottle. Don't particularly care right now. Ginger beard. As if I didn't already have almost exactly that. With this character. Uh, 20 cave fish, that's excellent. Wait. Oh, there it is. Oracalcum, Palladium. Did I actually not get any of the third tier of metal? Or... Yeah, no, I didn't. That's pretty unlucky. Alright, Palladium, or a Calcum. This is nowhere near enough to make anything, but if I was playing hardcore, I would seriously consider fishing up these metals instead of going to get them. Um, let's put that in the Half Moon Vanilla Chest. I'm pretty sure it is... Or a calcum that's the second tier. Let's put our balloons on. Palladium. Pickaxe power is 130%. This one is 160. Yep. We need 12 bars to make a oracalcum anvil. Do you want a little advice about hard mode ores in Calamity? Uh, no thank you. Not until I've found a certain amount of it for myself. Thank you for asking beforehand. Alright, let's clean out our inventory. Plasma rod? I thought I had a place to stack these. I do. Okay. Rockfish is... We've got OP things from Calamity, so rock f Rockfish is definitely not relevant. Actually, I think Rockfish is pre-hard mode, even. Sailfish boots. Um... That's a lot of stuff to empty. Luck potions can go in here. I'm not going to be picking them up when I'm walking around. Don't need shuckled oysters. Or shucked oysters, sorry. It's almost daytime. Time to get some gnomes. Can I... there we go. Should just have come up here in the first place. Sell the golden cup. I uh, don't need another tartar sauce. We keep getting lots of critters down here. Falling through the trap door. I 
don't think I can use this anymore. It doesn't sell. Oh, it does sell. Fantastic. I don't have any calming potions. I do now. Get this out of my inventory, please. We got a strange plant. This is still only good for making a jellyfish jar. It's basically just money. And strange plant. Brilliant, my dear. You've brought me an exquisite sample of the world's beautiful colours and aroma. In exchange, you may take this special bottle of dye. Phase dye. That's kind of wild. But not really my style, I think. Uh, recall potions didn't help us. So Calamity prevents us from teleporting home when we're in a boss fight. But either they'll allow it with Potion of Return, or they overlooked it, which I kind of doubt. So that's our Panic Potion. Um, we've cleaned out our inventory. Let's go break some Demon Altars, or Crimson Altars, I guess. I should probably make some endurance potions. Oh yeah, we've got the armored cave fish now. I don't need to pay blood orbs for these. Just blink root and armored cave fish. Fantastic. Um, we don't need to be this serious when we're not fighting a boss, but. It's good to have damage reduction. Uh, plus damage is not that big of a deal. Inferno potion is definitely not that big of a deal. Don't really need a summoning potion. Don't need heart reach or featherfall really. That's about right. Thorns potion? No, not really doesn't make that big of a difference. Alright. Let's -a go. If I'm using the bees... I think I'd rather just have another slot for a different weapon and different accessory. The bees aren't that great anymore. Something a bit more utility-ish. Maybe a sentry? Sentries aren't that good. At least not the ones we have access to. Uh, I could go regular magic missile. No, I think even with the reduced damage, uh, if we want to hit something that's harder to hit, like around a wall or something. The slime puppet staff is more what we should look at. Alright, let's head over into the crimson. Whoops. Oh, was this getting wicked? How fast do we kill this thing? Oh. Very, very quickly, actually. It's like not even a threat in this armor. And welcome to the Hallow. Should probably get some pixies while I'm here. Uh, I want to get the, uh, 
Oh, we can... Have I not been down here? I have not been down here. Alright, we'll check that out later. But our main objective is to hammer some... Hammer some altars right now. Alright, light, speed, defense, and we won't take the life force potions, that's a bit OTT for now. Ouch. We get souls out of it. But I'm not seeing any... We're not getting the usual messages that say your world has been blessed with a new type of metal. Interesting. Well... That is a pretty significant change from vanilla. We do get Evil Smasher. Evil Smash, Evil Smash. Uh. For every enemy you kill, this hammer gains stat bonuses. These bonuses stack until a cap is reached. The bonus stacks will reset if you select a different item. The bonus stacks will be reduced by one every time you get hit. I was kind of hoping this would be like... An even more pwn hammer that we have to use to get the metals, but um, right now I actually have no idea, besides fishing, how we're supposed to get hard mode ores. So I guess that's what that potential spoiler was about. We'll soon see how difficult it is to figure out without going to the wiki or something. So apart from getting quite a lot of Souls of Night, um, and a sort of special hammer thing. How fast is this attack? Oh my goodness! What the? What? Really? This is not... What? <laughs> this is... This is not... This doesn't have a prefix that says massive or anything. This is just how strong this thing is. How large, rather. Good gravy. And it has massive knockback, just like most hammers. Can I hit through this? I don't think so. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> I want to see how high, how, how much, it, how much stat bonus we get out of it. So damage is 127. Oh, 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 that is a mimic. We want mimics. I can't select another item if I want to test this thing though. Magic demo. We got double? Two magic dam uh, daggers. It's pretty much only good for selling. I mean, it's a it's a good weapon, kind of, but it's a little awkward. We're already at 140 melee damage. 153. Is it everything we kill with this, or just everything we kill? For every enemy you kill. So, if I just sit here and let my minions finish things off, does that actually buff our damage on the Evil Smasher? Hello, I was looking for Calamity Mod on Tmod Loader, but can't find it. How do you have it? Uh, I just used Tmod Loader. The only thing, the only tip I have is if it fails 
at world generation, there's a mod to fix that specifically. Did we kill anything? Oh, here we go. 141. I think it is... I think you do have to kill things specifically with this hammer, or at least hit them with it. No, it looks like it's last hits. Ow. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That was... You guys just don't care about knockback, do you? And we're back to 117 damage. I'll try it with, um... With a melee build later. See how far it goes. Alright, so how am I going to get hard mode ores? What possible hint could there be? I mean, we could probably use the, the super guide mod, maybe? Let's clear this. Um, adamantite. Adamantite bar. Adamantite ore. Doesn't tell us anything. Okay, thank you. I'll look again. Alright, good luck. Let's put away our giant hammers. Oh, wow, this is getting full. And I guess Pwn Hammer as well. Pwn Hammer is a material. Pwnage Hammer. Snail speed, extremely strong knockback, throws a heavy gravity affected hammer that creates a loud blast of hallowed energy when it hits something. 20% chance the hammer to home in on a target. Homing hammers summon an additional spectral hammer on hit and are guaranteed to land a crit. Interesting. Palady Ensendi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, magic daggers really just for selling. Unfortunate. Although, kind of cool that we get two drops out of Mimics, I guess. Uh, Pixie Dust is a potion ingredient, so I will put it in the potion ingredients chest. Soul of Night. There's going to be quite a few things that we can do with Soul of Night, and that's before Calamity. We can make summoning items for the mechanical bosses. We'll find those eventually anyway, but maybe I want to set them up ahead of time. Uh, we need Soul of Knights and Sight. Okay, never mind. The Magic Harp is actually a really, really good weapon against the Destroyer in particular, but we need to kill the Twins first. We could do Onyx Blaster. That's honestly really weak compared to some of the OP um, Calamity items, but it is a material to make an Onyx Chain Blaster. Oh god, you combine it with a chain gun and Luminite Bars. Okay. That's not for a while. Um, Cursed Flames. Golden Shower. Logic Sensor. Activates once night starts. Yes, I will want one of those at some point, but I don't want to spend my souls on it just yet. Um... We can make a Celestial Magnet. That's really nice. We need to kill the Destroyer to do it first, though. We can make a Nazar. That's kind of expensive for what it is. This just drops randomly from some things. Pocket Mirror. Immunity to Petrification. That's nice. Uh, amalgamated Brain. Rotted Brain plus Brain of Confusion plus a few souls. 
but we don't get the benefit of Brain of Confusion. Shade rains down when you are hit. Tempers and increased damage. You confuse nearby enemies. Okay, we don't get the dodge. There are better dodge items later on. Like the ninja, ninja gear. Uh, Master Ninja Gear, I think it's called. Good grief. 9,000 damage? Literally over 9,000 damage. Cosmic Worm summons the Devourer of Gods. Yikes. So I guess that's like a super endgame version of the Destroyer. Use at your own risk, summons the Brimstone Elemental. Okay. Getting a little distracted here. Um. Should probably. Probably be working towards a boss. I don't know how to get the medals, though. Uh, am I really gonna have to look something up? Just to figure out how to progress. I really hope not. Do we get the medals already in the world? That might be a thing that happens. I'm not seeing any. Diamond? Do I have to kill a different boss? Oh, that's Palladium. Yeah, I think it's all I think it's just already in the world. What is it like, Vanilla, where you use Pwnhammer to destroy the altars? Wait, is it? Um, maybe? I mean, we didn't get the usual messages when I destroyed the altars. For each one you kill, you get the next level of metal. Yeah. What boss are you at right now? You have to kill the mechanical bosses. But really? We've already got Palladium, though. Um, except Palladium is really not very exciting. Um, we can get, like, slightly better armor. This stuff it really is a step above what you would normally get pre-hard mode. So... Yeah, I guess we have to take on the mechanical bosses with Statagel. Unless I want to fish an awful lot, which I don't. Uh, maybe if it was off-stream. Maybe if I was playing hardcore. But I think I would rather try killing a mechanical boss with... Um, with Statagel gear first. What is that? Oh, it's just a flower. Never mind. So what are we doing with our Souls of Night that we've already got? Um, we could get some Demon Wings. Let's get some Souls of Flight so we have some proper wings. Uh, I should definitely get Hunter Potion. Otherwise, we'll get snuck up on in the dark. Where are my hunter potions? Here we go. Let's do another summon. I actually kind of like... Even though it's weak at this point. Uh, I like having the sun spirit as well, because it's just... It never misses might be able to upgrade your boots. We need one soul from each mechanical boss for that. Essence of Sunlight and Harpy Ring. Good to know, though. Alright, let's go get some wyverns. Um, I might even buff myself, because those are a little spooky. At this point, they could clap us really quickly. What is that? Oh, I think I saw that before.
Oh, there's one. Okay, okay, okay. Where's our friend? Yeah, you, yeah there you go. And dodge. Piercing through the worm segments, very effective. Oh, Essence of Sunlight, that's how we get that. Good to know. And we got a Wyvern Kite as well. Beautiful. Alright, we're gonna probably need... Yeah, we need to kill at least one more. Uh, the slime puppets are probably going to be pretty effective as well, because they do they deal AoE damage. That was a... That was just a harpy. So harpies now drop Essence of Sunlight. Or sometimes they do. If you want to just spend money to get better, uh, better wings early in hard mode, you can just go to the, uh, is it called? The Witch Doctor at night. Let's do that. Or rather, let's check in on what we can get. Uh... Did they change it for Calamity? No, there it is. Leaf Wings. It's actually a material now. Flight time is four times the free hard mode wings. Plus five defense, plus uh, five percent increased damage reduction? That's without a prefix? Permanent Dryad's Blessing while wearing the Tiki armor. Interesting. Uh, sure. How much is it? I can't see the cost. Oh, 66 gold. Yeah, that's actually kind of cheap for what it is. Um, but we'll probably get some wings that let us go a bit higher. I mean, I'm actually really curious now to see what all the different wings give us. Justin, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a way... Okay, I do have a way. It's a little dangerous. To get harpy, uh, not harpies, wyverns to spawn a bit faster. Battle potion go. Actually, while I'm at it, why don't I put down a water candle up here? Why am I not homing things not going after the... What is this hold? Is it not hostile? Sun Skater? Then why can I kill it? I have the uh, Guide to Critter Companionship. Ooh, this is different. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was that a flying saucer? It's way too early for the for the Martian invasion. Rip owl. I don't know if you know about Yaharim stimulants, but you can make them out of food and a few other potions. Uh, there's an awful lot, but yeah, I saw. It. I think I may have seen that. There's certainly a few more things. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, I want to try... Oops, wrong button. I want to try this on 
the wyvern, actually. Yeah, I think it does hit a few times. It's not that much damage, though. Definitely not compared to the laser rifle. Especially if it's chasing us. Where we get every... the maximum number of hits from one laser. Whoops. Now I keep pressing mana when I mean to switch to... The slime puppet stuff? Here it is. What is this? What's this called? I didn't see it. I hope it's not going to summon the Martian invasion. We're definitely not ready for that. What was that? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm out of mana. I'm out of... I'm out of mana. Okay, it's fine. We should have more than enough for a set of wings or two. Oh, that's exactly three sets of wings. Nice suit. Let's get these feathers. And of course, before I can pick them up, there's a whole lot more of them. I don't actually have a spot to put down the water candle. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Stuck on the ladder. Or rather, the ropes. Yeah, I think I'll not go back up there while we've got, um... Well, we've got the battle potion active, actually. Also, very handy that the uh, the Eye of Cthulhu thing, miniature Eye of Cthulhu, tells us exactly where we need to aim off screen. That's very nice. They're super good because they stack with normal potions. They stack with normal potions. How does that work? Alright, let's see what wings we can get. I think it's only one type at the moment. Demon wings. Uh, let's see. Flight time 100, that's the same as leaf wings. 5% increased damage and crit strike. Interesting. 5 defense, 5% 5 damage reduction. I think this is better. Uh, that last buff isn't going to be relevant for a long time, and only when we play Summoner, and only with a specific armor set. Light and slow fall, horizontal speed 6.25 is the same. Acceleration is the same. Average vertical speed. So basically we could trade 5 defense and 5% damage reduction for 5% damage and crit. That's pretty well balanced, honestly. What, uh, what else could we do wing-wise? Nothing with Souls of Night. Uh, Souls of Flight. I'm very curious. Angel wings? Same stats, and then plus 20 max life, plus 10 defense, and plus 2 life regen. Hmm. Depends on how the 5% damage reduction scales. Although these don't give you regen. No, that's actually really good. So we need 25 souls of light. Uh, fairy wings give us more flight time, plus 60 max life, no regen. Harpy wings, 20% increased movement speed, that's great. A lot of flight time, well, the same increase from fairy wings. 
That's just a giant harpy feather, which is a rare drop from the harpies. Unless they changed it somehow. How do I check? Giant harpy feather? Why doesn't it show... Like, sometimes when I click on something, it shows what drops it on the right. Let's see. Let me just check something. Gel. Click. Okay, it doesn't show it here. Oh, two, double click right mouse. Ah, okay. Giant harpy. Oh, this is the bestiary. Giant harpy feather. Double right click. Harpy, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, so if we kill a bunch of harpies, we get harpy wings. With harpy ring or angel treads equipped, most attacks sometimes launch feathers. Lol. I don't think we'll be bothering with this at some point. 20 max mana, 5% decreased mana usage. 5% increased magic damage and magic crit chance. That's quite good. Uh, 160 flight time. That's good as well. Bone wings. 10% increased movement speed, range damage, and crit strike chance. 30 defense while wearing necro armor. Uh, is this the necro armor? Yeah, it is. This is pre-hard mode. This is weaker than what we've got. That's not happening. Alright, where were we? Souls of Flight. They give 100 hit points. Angel Wings are the best early. Yeah, I think so. No, it's plus 20 max life. Maybe they nerfed it? But still, plus 10 defense, plus 2 life regen. Like, that's not insignificant. Flame Wings. Increased melee damage and crit strike chance. Uh, frozen. Melee and ranged damage. And 1% increased melee and ranged crit strike chance while wearing frost armor. I love frost armor. This is the hybrid physical, like, melee and ranged. I like all the, uh, pretty much all of the hybrid gear. There's not enough of it in vanilla. It, it's on, it's pretty much only early hard mode, early-ish hard mode, that you get to enjoy the hybrid stuff. At night or during an eclipse, you gain the following boosts for bat wings. 7% increased damage, 3% increased crit strike. That's kind of bad, honestly. No, that is bad. That's just not good enough. Permanently gives you the honey buff. Well, that's just regen. Um, more flight time than the angel wings, though. A lot more flight time than the angel wings. We don't get the defense buff. I don't know just how strong the honey buff is, but I'm pretty sure that's actually pretty good. Tattered fairy wings. 5% increased damage and crit. Nothing else. Spooky wings, minion knockback damage while wearing spooky armor, spectra wings, 10 defense, 5% damage reduction while wearing spectra hood set, 5% increased magic damage and crit strike chance while wearing the spectra mask set. Okay. Beetle wings. Requires beetle shell set, 10 defense, 5% increased damage reduction, increased melee damage and crit strike chance. Hoverboard. Shroomite armor. The weapon type boosted matches the Shroomite helmet that's won, 10% increased damage. Uh, Oriate booster. What? That seems kind of lame, honestly. Unless... What is a perennial bar? 
No, even if we made that right now, it wouldn't be very exciting. But I guess it's part of something bigger. Uh, Hadal Mantle. I don't know why I thought 100. That's fine. 5% increased damage while wearing hydrothermic armor. I've never seen that. Okay, this is all Calamity armor type, so it's a bit harder to judge. Cool. Uh, let's get ourselves some angel wings. So we need 25 souls of light. Unless I want to get the harpy wings? Probably not. Yeah, probably better off with the, uh... Probably better off with the angel wings. Especially since we have a dash. Not that movement... Uh, 20% movement bonus is pretty damn good as well. Especially since we're not making boss fight arenas. Why do I not have two of these accessories equipped? Oh no. Brain of Confusion. Obsidian Shield. As opposed to... Mana. We can get a little bit more damage this way. Oh, this is already plus 4% damage. Speaking of which, I should re-roll the leaf wings unless we're going to stick with those. Defense damage reduction. No, I think if we're going for that, we want the angel wings, so I'm not going to bother spending the money to reforge these. Uh, let's go get some souls of light. And feathers over here. Happy banner in here. Essence of Sunlight uh, is going to go in Hard Mode Calamity. Whoops. Wife and Kite, things like this over here. Bunny, be free. Crimson Torch, we're just going to trash because we can make it whenever we want. For free, basically. All right, let's get ourselves some souls of light. Three gold is actually pretty cheap for the effort that it usually takes to make endurance potions. Oh, it's a material. Oh, that thing. Oh, 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 oh. You said this stacks on top of... Oh, you don't mean stacks like this, as in you can also have this buff. Defense by 10, knockback, damage reduction, mining speed, damage, crit strike, minion knockback, movement, and melee speed, 30 minute duration, any food item, plus these potions that we can just buy. Uh, yes please. It's just knockback potions that I don't have a lot of. Would it be better to buy or make them? Bone, deathweed, Shiverthorn. That's easy. Alright. Um, and what was the other ingredient? Any food item. So, crappy fish. Uh, the, the cheap... Cooked fish that we can get. Does this mean we can now make... Yarim's Stimulants. This, it's going to be a terrible night. Nope, 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 nope. We're not ready. Actually, that's the twins, isn't it? I think we can give it a try. Even though I'm a bit off balance here. Let's grab... Oh, crap. What did I just... <gasps> no! 
It used up all of my cook my seafood dinners. No. All right, we've got a bunch of specular fish. It's it's fine. Let's pretend it's fine. Yeah, I should have made sure the food item was up here. Uh, all right, what do we got? Plenty of mana potions. Um, laser rifle will do. I need grav potions. I need thorns potions. Featherfall. Featherfall plus grav is weird with calamity. I can't do that actually. Uh, damage. And is that about it? I think so. Uh oh. Okay. 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 It's on. We want to focus spaz first. I have no minions. Oh, I have one minion. Kind of. Couldn't have gone that way. Okay, okay. Just the extra step of having to manually consume mana potions is kind of like the rub your tummy and pat your head kind of tricky thing. But other than that, this shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe I should use homing missiles so I don't have to concentrate on aiming. I have to click spam them though. Or I could use this. I don't think that's going to be doing a whole lot of damage. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Yeah, no, the DPS of this is too good. Don't forget to reload, Dr. Freeman. Oh. And I think he's switched over. We just gotta be away from him when he does his flame thingy for the most part. And flip. So far, so good. Let's cross over. Good, not good, not good, not good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. What's he on? 400 health. Oh, grab potions run out. Grab potions run out. Okay. Okay, that could have been really bad. Should have paid attention to that. Hurry up and die. There we go. Alright, now the victory lap. Let's just hurry this up a little bit.
Oops. Okay. Okay. All right. We're fine. This is fine. This is this is fine. We got this. Ow. 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 Oh, can I fall, please? There we go. There, there we go. And you are Dunsky. Fantastic. Your world has been blessed with Mithril and Orichalcum. Oh, we get both uh, both versions of the second tier. Hard mood ore. That's nice. Use plasma rod every 15 seconds? Yeah, you're right. I was just... I had too many things that I had to... Had to, like, keep track of. As it was, I didn't keep an eye on the uh, uh, the grab potion timer. I'm not used to manually. Uh, I'm still not really used to manually drinking the mana potions, and I have to manage spacing, and I have to manage flipping gravity, and distance and timing, and aim all at once. But yeah, uh, Yarin's Stimulants. Very, very nice. Didn't realize I could get those yet. Treasure Bag the Twins. Let's go. Hallowed Bars. I'm actually really curious to see... Uh, I guess we don't find out until we get the whole set. I was wondering if the Hallowed Set bonuses would be different. Superstar Shooter is... Oh, they buffed it. Nice. I was going to say, in vanilla, it's actually shockingly bad. Like, the Star Cannon is great to, say, kill the Wall of Flesh with the stars that you've saved up. Um, but then you can upgrade to the Superstar Shooter, and it's like... It's not enough of an upgrade to bother with. It's just already obsolete by the time you get it. Lightning Hawk? Magnum. Plus illegal gun parts, plus every boss, every mechanical boss. 400 damage. Can be used thrice per boss battle. What? That's so weird. While you are looking for recipes, could you show what your wings can be upgraded to? Uh, Seraph Traces. Ludicrous Speed <laughs> counts as wings. Uh, only 140 flight time. It's still a material. Traveling Merchant has arrived. Ice, Water and Lava Walking. Okay, so it gives all the bonuses from Terra Spark Boots. Do Terra Spark Boots go into it? Angel Treads. Yes. Yes, they do, basically. Alright, where is our traveling friend? Is that him? Nope. Is he downstairs? Nope. There he is. I still haven't made a proper house for these two. Lifeform Analyzer, Bricklayer, I think we have those already. Okay. Bricklayer? Yeah, we have Bricklayer. Alright. Does Hallowed Bar make anything else new? I'm sure it does. Gleaming Magnolia, 80 magic damage. 
We need a mana rose. And I have no idea how to... Oh, yes, I do. Moon Glow, Jungle Rose, Nature's Gift. I can just buy these two from the Triad. So I could make this right now, actually. 80 magic damage. Casts a gleaming flower that explodes into petals. Insane knockback, only 9 mana. It is a material... Valkyrie Ray requires the other two mechanical bosses. Catastrophe Claymore. Ponage Hammer, we saw that already, I think. Cosmic Bolter. Buys three arrows, 49 damage. Converts wooden arrows into sliding energy bolts. Jam, jam, jam. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Exorcism. Stealth Strikes. That's kind of weird. Spear of Destiny. Stealth Strikes cause all three spears to home in, ignore tiles, and pierce more. Nice. Have you done anything with the labs? Uh, I visited this one, if that's what you mean, by a lab. And I've got some stuff. Where is it? I've got some stuff from those that I haven't done anything with just yet. There's a bunch of them. I found another one down here that I haven't taken the time to explore yet. Oh, and we got the twins. Uh, which one of these is supposed to be the twins? Let's see. Uh, Wall of Flesh goes there. So we got one, two, three, four, skip four. Twins go here. Fantastic. Air of Eyeballs. Wait, what? Oh, I missed, I misclicked. Oh, that's cute. Um, it's pretty complicated. You have to place charging stations and a decipher table. Okay, that's kind of spoilery. Uh, we need the other two boss bosses to get our mechanical cut. Let's put this away for now. Uh, we have Soul of Sight, Flight, and Night. And I'll put this in the pets. Actually, I'll hold on to this pet. I kind of like it. Alright. Is there anything we can or should do with Hallowed Bars right now? We need a Mithril Anvil first. I did get a little bit of uh, Aurichalcum, but not enough to make an Anvil, so we need to do some mining. But if I did have it, I kind of like the guide for the UI a little bit better sometimes. Uh, let's see. It only costs 12 to make the helmet. 24 to make the chest plate, and 18. Uh, I could make the... everything but the plate... Uh, but the chest plate. Or an armor set if I want to. Hallowed Repeater? That is what I used to kill Duke Fisher on. Relatively early. Hallowed Rune. Whenever your minions hit an enemy, you will gain a random buff. The buffs either boost your defense, some damage to your life regen. It's just like the endgame mage armor. If you have the offensive boost, enemies hit by minions will sometimes be hit by stars. Good grief. 
Oh, we can make... Oh, we don't have ectoplasm. Never mind. I should probably make this uh, gleaming magnolia. Definitely. Let's get that done. Oh, what are you selling now? Nothing? Nothing new as far as I can see? Wing time hair dye. That's interesting. Alright. Uh, give to me a jungle rose and nature's gift, please. And then we need some moon glow. What? Oh, it's because I have this selected. I can't right click. And... What? What crafting station did we need? An anvil. Mana rose... 33 magic damage, a mana flower that explodes into petals. Okay. Seven mana, that's not bad. And then, don't tell me, we need a mithril anvil, actually. Yeah, we do. Okay. I'll put this in here for the moment. Alright, so we need to go get that Mithril Anvil. It's not like the shopkeep now sells it, does he? No. Oh, we can get the sharpening station. Actually, I want a couple of those. One for here, and one for... If only to show that this is melee. Alright, so Spelunky Potion time. Whoops. Actually, wasn't there... I think the Spelunky Potion was a material that makes it. Potion of Omniscience, 15 minutes. Creatures, enemy projectiles, danger sources, and treasure. It's actually just Danger Sense Potion and Hunter Potion, plus this. Yes, please. In fact, why don't I... Make that my standard question mark? It's a little expensive, but I, I really like the convenience of it. And the 15 minute duration. Good grief. Yes, please. We got greater healing potions. 60 sec 150 over 60 versus 90 over 45, I think it is. Uh, yeah, the bigger potion is more heals over time if we have to spam it. Resto Potion is not a material. Well, we've got 318 of them. I'll hold on to them just on the off chance I run out of these. Um, I don't think we need to carry a Shadow Key all the time. Now then. Let's do some digging. Down we go. We're looking for Mithril and or Aurichalcum. Was that it? No, that's like silver or platinum. Wait, did I just... No. For a second I thought I used all the buffs. Aziz Light. Let's get... Some more digging speed. And how about even more digging speed? Oh, that's... wow. Okay. Okay, that works. Yes. Yes, please. Holy... Oh my god. This is insane. I I'm actually digging faster than I can decision make on where to go next based on what ores are available. Oh, 
Oh, that could have been bad. I thought I could just dig away the, uh, the rock. Yeah, I think we're going so fast that the sound just had a tantrum. Uh, we can't kill this as quickly. There we go. You are cheating? <laughs> what? All I did was consume a mining potion, use the ancient chisel, and... And what? There was one other thing. Well, this pickaxe is quite... quite fast. This is insanity. Oh, what did we just run out of? Oh, food. That's why. That as well. Seafood dinner also helps with digging speed. Okay, this is a bit more of a sane pace. Was there something else? Oh, it was the sugar rush from the cake as well. That's why it only lasted two minutes. Sir, do you know how fast you've been digging? <laughs> right? Holy crap. This is... this is actually insane. If I brought the cake with me, we could keep going this fast, but I don't feel like bothering with that, honestly. Traveling merchant has departed. Like, I may as well just pick up every orb. We're back here, are we? I may as well just pick up every ore because it's so easy. You got a license for that pickaxe? Wow. I wonder how much we've got already. No, that wasn't Mithril, that was Cobalt. Gimme, gimme. We've still got 12 minutes on the Omniscience. That's a lot of rock traps. Imagine trying to keep up with this if we didn't have the auto cursor still. Oh, the wizard! Fantastic. Sir, give to me some crystal balls, please. Is my void bag full? No, not even. Uh, should I... You actually sell magic missile, that's great. Should I get anything else while we're here? Ice rod? Uh, oh, yes. We can basically fly anywhere now. Although, that's what the oath sword was for. Too urgent the rest of this, that's fine. Let's not go to the underground desert. I give you magic gives you magic power if you use it. Yes, I know. And if I didn't, I'd like to figure that out myself. We're doing a blind playthrough. I would just, I would check how much we've got, but I may as well just go as fast as I can to make the most of the potion. 
or potions. Is that Mithril or Cobalt? I think it's Cobalt, yeah. Knowing that all, like, both types of ore can be found, it's only making it harder to know which is which. What was that? Oh, it's just a bit of ore. What I meant to do. Let's get some air. What is that red stuff? That is a mimic. Let's go get it. Actually, what I should have done is just use this from a distance. Oh, I'm out of... out of mana. Keep missing it. There we go. We got Titan Gloves and... Wait, we, we got three drops from the Mimic? Wow. That's very kind. What do we got? Seven minutes left still. I think we're only going to need one mining trip at this rate. Uh, for each resource that we're looking for. Oh, we can't dig this yet. Because we need the next tier of pickaxe. Which means this is what we're actually looking for. And yeah, this is Mithril. Okay, let's use a potion of return. Lantern Knight. Beautiful. Stack some of this stuff away. Palladium Ore. We need to use this to make the next tier of pickaxe. And or we could use Cobalt. I wonder which is better. Cobalt is 130%. Palladium is 130%. I like the blue one. This is not a material. We may as well sell it. Uh, let's get our sugar rush back. And absolutely murder stuff we're digging away. Oriculcum or um, Mithril, I don't care too much which we get. Actually, I kind of like the Mithril anvil a little bit better, the look of it. Doesn't really matter. There's our metal detect. I think we had that already. Jeez, that's just wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> Nothing at all, that's what. This is... this is cool and normal. Where is this? Oh, I know this. This place. Let's get some air. Grab... Oh, mining potions. Good. We might have run out of those one day. We wouldn't want to mine slowly now, would we? Is that Mithril? No, I think that's Cobalt. Mithril is that stuff. It's more... How can I describe it? I don't know. Is this, by the way, aerolite ore? I think that's pretty. This is light. I think that's pre-hard mode, like 
We're probably past it already, but it's probably required to make some materials that we we'll still need. Ow. Ow. Let's not get any desert worms after... Oh, it's not the desert, is it? Oh, down here is the desert, so we could get those big worms coming for us. What are we on? Four minutes left. Let's go. I think we've lost our mining potion. Let's fix that. Where is it? Sort items. There it is. Mining potion. Uh, seafood dinner? There we go. Imagine you're a bat living in one of these caves and this digger just zooms, just zooms past your home in D. It reminds me of, um, I, I remember this highlight from some people playing Kerbal Space Program. Uh, and they were gonna try, they were gonna try a orbital rendezvous. Um, but they weren't approaching at approximately the same vector, at, at, at the same speed and angle to the thing that they were trying to catch up with. Um, and they, you know, got their Kerbal out of the, uh, out of the ship, ready to float over to the thing that they were trying to meet up with which incidentally had an angle of inclination of like 90 degrees for the relative like the difference in the orbit. Uh, and it zoomed past in about five frames or so. And at that moment, at that moment they very swiftly comprehended the scale of how far off their assumptions were from reality and just started laughing. How's it going? Pretty good, thank you. Uh, rowing? Good. Sorry, rubbing. Mispronounced that. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That just about sums up my whole KSP experience. Nice. Yeah, imagine, imagine thinking that, okay, this is going to be a little tricky, but we can pull it off. We can, we can dock with this thing. It's going to go, it's going to be going a bit fast, but let's go. And then it just literally blinks past you. <laughs> Robo Jumper, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we're back to the elevator. What are we on? 20 seconds. Let's go. More Aurichalcum. There's more to my left and my right. Gotta remember to go straight left after this runs out. It's right where the heart lantern is. Find the heart lantern. There it is. Fantastic. Back we go. How much do you think? How much do you guys think we picked up for each resource? Oh, I guess there's a bit of a spoiler here. Two hundred and thirty-three mithril, one hundred and forty-one aurichalcum, one hundred and thirty-two aerolite ore. We got a quick mana jelly without noticing. <laughs> Standing still boosts mana regen. I don't think I had one of those yet. And we need three types plus soul of light, soul of night to make grand gelatin. Nice. So we just need a couple of souls of light. And we can finally 
mash these things together. Um, let's put the metal detector... I don't actually have a chest for, like, utility things yet. Let's do this one. Not that I have no utility things, I just haven't finished reorganizing. All of that stuff can go in there. Alright, let's get that mithril anvil. Mithril can go... Which is stronger, mithril or orichalcum? Let's see, orichalcum... 16 defense on the breastplate, mithril... 12. Orichalcum is uh, significantly stronger. And I guess we need another mechanical boss before we can get the adamantite and or titanium. Uh, and then we can get... Well, I can't get frost armor straight away because we don't have the opposite of forbidden fragments. Call me Robin or Robing, you decide. No worries. Have you gotten the drunked... Drunked princess? No? No, I have not. Um, but that's the kind of thing I would like to not have spoiled, actually. Silt block. Let's put these away. I wish we could do this a little bit faster. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I think it's time to take a break. Uh, let's do some more words on stream. Uh, how do I... There we go. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and see you soon. Hey, Veldek. Now there's a long word that jumped out at me immediately. 
I guess I had a lucky moment with the lining up of the letters. Does this game have a natural progression, or do you need to know everything beforehand? Uh, Vanilla's progression is fairly natural. You're definitely going to be better off with more knowledge. Ascend Anima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's the... Oh, we're done with words on stream for now. Fantastic. All right, let's continue then. And you would think they would make that faster after after making it faster to pick up like a large stack. But what can you do? Uh, what do we have here? Gold and lead. We're using that for potions. Okay. So just how much? It's actually only 48 bars of Mithril. Uh, how many bars of Aurichalcum? 40. We can't make a set with this. That insane mining trip was actually not enough if we wanted to make a set of this, these intermediate sets of armor. Um, we killed the twins already, so let's make that harp that I was talking about. The one that'll help us kill the destroyer. We need harp, crystal shard, soul of night, and soul of spite. We've actually got the soul of night already. Uh, so crystal shard we need to go get, but that's easy. And uh, we need to buy the harp from the wizard, who I haven't got a spare home for, and he's still way down there. Um, well, where's the hallow? I want to build a nice wizard tower in the hallow. Probably directly above this fishing spot, actually. Or rather, next to it, since it's a wizard tower. Uh, but for now, I think I'll just go visit him directly. Whoops. Because I'm lazy. And I like to do the building stuff off stream usually. Just because it can be very time consuming. Well, not just because of that. It takes a long time to do a nice build usually, and I like to be listening to a podcast or something. Where are we going? Through here. I'm following my own. Path of Carnage. What's all this? Mana Jelly again? Oh, I missed some silver ore on the ground. Unforgivable. Alright, give us a harp. It only makes one thing. Well, we only need one. Uh, and we need some... Oh, he sells grab potions. Nice. Uh, we need some of these. Crystal shard.
What's the tavern keep excited about? Oh, wow. Okay. Um... I've never actually done... the Eternia Crystal stuff. Like, I've done it pre-hard mode, and then I've done it post-Plantera, so the, the difficulty curve was a sheer cliff. Um, I would kind of like to try doing some of this stuff a bit earlier. Although, we're probably going to roll over it a bit easier with Calamity gear. Um, but we can get... 25 Defender Medals gives us a better Sentry. And then a total of 75, we can get a set that is sort of a hybrid. Uh, it gives us, like, melee and minion, or ranged and minion, magic and minion. This is also melee, but different. Except instead of increasing our minion count, it increases sentry count, which is not as exciting. But even so, let's see, mage, we're on 5, 10, and 8 defense. This is 7, 15, and 10. That is a significant increase. 10% increased damage, magic damage, and decreased mana cost. Wow, that was aggressive. Um, 10% increased magic. Yeah, that's the same. Increases number of sentries. Also, 20% increased minion damage. Oh, another 10% increased magic damage. And that's without the set bonus. 20% increased movement speed, 5% increased minion damage, and magic crit chance. I might like to try that out when it's actually relevant. Let's go pick up our fire blossoms since they're blooming. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. And let's replant. Actually, before we do, I need Deathweed Planters, if this is going to look consistent. Or I could replace them all with Fire Blossom, but I actually think the Deathweed Planters look like they belong. Like, it's the same color. They would be purple if this was a corruption world. Deathweed planters? I think it was like 20 or so. Not even. That's gonna look a bit better. Put this thing away. Down here, over here. Uh, we actually only got five crystal shards. Let's fix that. Also, one of these that looks almost identical is going to give us the item that we need to summon the Queen Slime. Unless they've changed that for Calamity. Oh, we're already out of the hallowed area. Alright, let's head over this way. This is with a stronger pickaxe than what we were using a minute ago, by the way. Crystal shard. And 
me just fix this real quick. There we go. Money in. And that's our 15. Alright, it's almost night time as well. I think we would have already got the messages if there was going to be a random destroyer spawn. Uh-oh. Okay, that's a Skeletron. Um, I don't think the harp is really going to help with that, though. But I guess we could make it. Where do we make it? Anvil. Uh, what are we missing, then? Yeah, Mithril Anvil. 20 Crystal Shards. Oh, it was 15 Souls of Sight. Alright, fine. We're not even going to use the harp for this fight. Um, let's grab some extra buffs. Not... Uh, Potion of Omniscience, fine. Stimulants. Wrath. Rage. Uh, we've got damage reduction. Thorns, I guess. Summon. Let's get one more summon. Uh, imp, whatever. And then, what else? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Grab potions. Heart reach isn't gonna help. Magic. Uh, Featherfall has a weird bug with grab potions with Calamity. Okay, we're on. Okay, 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 okay. Laser turret? I mean, not turret, laser rifle. I think his defense goes down when he's doing the spinny thing, but the rest of the time we want to be shooting the limbs. How many mana potions do I have? 521. Actually, I don't know if we even need grab potions for this one. It certainly doesn't hurt. Rip guide. I should probably move away from the town. Some of his attacks are affected by gravity as well. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Where are my summons? What happened to my... my eye? Oh no. Well, that's gonna be a bit of damage we lose out on. I don't think Skeletron Prime kills you in the morning like Skeletron does, so... At this rate, the worst that happens is we fail to kill him. We're not taking a whole lot of damage from him. His armor's kind of strong. Well, it's not just the armor, it's... Um, damage reduction from plus armor on accessories in Calamity. You don't just get plus 4 armor, you get 4% damage reduction on top of that. It adds up. Maybe I should be using the homing missiles, even though the DPS from them is not that great, relatively. Uh, the fact that we're not missing adds up. I should also use the damage over time beam. That's stacking two damage over times at the same time as well. Oh crap. Maybe I should just keep tagging all of his pieces. Oh, grab potions run out. Okay. I 
I should definitely use the laser in a situation like this. And then once he's once this damage go, uh, defense goes back up, I'll switch to the flame lash. So I keep hitting different segments. Let's spam the beam. Get all the damage over time. We've only got four minutes to kill him. I don't think I can do it. I think we're going to run out of time. If we used a summoning item to start the fight, we would have had more time as well, if we start at 7.30. Okay, I really got to focus the face when he does the spin. Here we go. Maybe we can do it. Or maybe I should just focus the... F I'm sorry. Sorry I killed you. I think the wizard moved in when the guy got killed. Yeah, I don't think I have time to finish this guy off. We're going to survive it in any case. Still got 20k hit points. Unless a falling star hits him, I don't think we're going to get him. Even then, it's probably only going to be, what, a few thousand? A couple of thousand? If he keeps doing the spinny more often, maybe? We've only got two minutes left. I think he was at half health when I said four minutes, so maybe it's doable. I think it's doable. Yeah, forget the hands, I'm just gonna keep focusing him. Six thousand. Let's go. Four and a half thousand. We got one minute left. Come on. Don't hide behind that rock. Three thousand. Take a bit of damage if we can deal more. Yes. Fantastic. And a big frame rate drop the moment that he dies, just like the last mechanical boss, because it's uh because it's generating ores all over the world. Well, that could have gone worse. And we have five more seconds if we were still fighting him right now. Let's see if we can't get... Oh, a goblin army. Let's see if we can't get a... Gnome to spawn. We should be able to delete the goblin army pretty easily, honestly. Soul of Fright can go there. Up. We need a few more crystal shards. Skeleton Prime goes somewhere. I'll just put it here for the moment. I'm not about to forget that. And we 
we got another trophy. Alright, I want a water candle. And maybe a battle potion. To get those gnomes to spawn. What? Oh. There we go. Back to mining? Uh, yeah, soon. Oops. Maybe I should... oh. Yeah, maybe I should have the mana flower for non-boss fights. This stuff's actually pretty mana efficient. Let's use that. And lasers. Oh, they still managed to shoot at us. That actually missed. I got right between all those shots. Hurry up and die, please. Thank you. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That's rude. I didn't know the spawn things uh, dropped gold as well. The merchant has arrived again. They don't leave a soul in the air, do they? No. Okay. And we got a random mechanical worm. Won't have to make that to summon the boss when we want to, which I think we'll do tonight, actually. Um, let's try and get that no. What are you selling that's new? Nothing, as far as I can see. Okay. Give me a battle potion. And... Let's take... A water candle? What is this? Prometheus descended from the heavens to grant man fire. Max minions by one. Minions inflict the Shadow Flame debuff. Uh, wow. That is really strong. I think I know what class is the favorite of the uh, Calamity devs. I, I have a. I just have a hunch. And I have another one of these. What's this? Burning Strife. Rogue damage. It bounces. Shadow flame spiky ball that bursts into flames. Stealth strikes make the ball linger and explode more violently. That's that's pretty good. A, 111 damage. Not bad. We got another shadow flame bow. 69 damage. Nice. 
I can't quick stack it because this one is here already, actually. It's on the weapon rack. Let's put our banners away. And Pearlstone can go in here, or here, or here. I need to organize this a bit better. Give me that white torch. What do we got in here? Oh my god, that's full. That's very full. Let's grab these ladybugs that find their way into our base. I actually love that. Very convenient. Squirrel, be free. Squirrel, fall into our base, I guess. Um, alright, so... Water candle? I already drank the battle potion, didn't I? That was maybe a little hasty. We'll put the water candle here. Move back and forth a little bit. And hopefully we can get... Um... It was weird how that buff was right at the end. I'm trying to get a gnome to spawn. It'll only spawn where we've got these natural uh, living wood back walls. I believe. Hence, we are not... I, I have had one spawn, I think. I think it was at night, so it wasn't, like... It wasn't realistically possible for me to... get it... to come up during the day, unless I just dodged it literally for an entire night. Why are we getting squirrels here? It's not a town. Is it too close to town? No, slimes are spawning. I mean, we can get slimes spawning at town. This doesn't count as a home, does it? No. And this is the only big tree, I think, in the world. This is I'm pretty sure this is the only place we could get gnomes. It could be, anyway. I've had a world where you couldn't get them. Unfortunately. Oh, there's one! Finally! I was just about to give up. Come on. You can do it. No, don't fall! <gasps> don't fall too far away and despawn. Do I need to add some platforms? I think I might. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We need to add platforms for our little gnome friend. Yes? Yes, we did it. Fantastic. Let's add some more platforms to make it a little easier for them. Alright, but we got our one garden gnome. It's not like they stack, although I would like to have more than one for different places. Uh, we're going to put our gnome down here somewhere. And that is going to give us a luck buff. Uh, Shade, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Get some good runs in. Let's stack this stuff away. Bunny, be free. Uh, let's fix our inventory. That's our first cross necklace, actually. What is this? We need to combine an awful lot of stuff to make this accessory. Including the entire set of hallowed armor. 
How often do you stream? Uh, about six days a week usually, but I do two days for each different game. So today and tomorrow is Terraria. Justin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Titan Glove, that's good. That's melee specific. Let's put it over here. Star Cloak, fantastic. Should we just make the Star Veil already? Uh, maybe a Mana Cloak? Since we're doing Mage at the moment. Uh, what else would I want to make out of the intrep uh, the cross necklace? It's only these two. I think I'll go for the star cloak. Why not? Let's grab ourselves our mana flower. Hmm. Whoops, that's the wrong spot. Combine into the star cloak, and it's still a material. Eventually we can make... We need to kill the Moon Lord first. We can make Ethereal Talisman. 15% increased magic damage, 5% crit, 10% decreased mana usage, plus 150 mana. Pick up range for mana stars. Well, that's pretty good. Alright. Uh, we need this to be... I think I'm happy with warding or menacing, to be honest. Actually, probably warding. I mean menacing, because with the damage reduction that we get from warding, we don't need to stack as much defense as we normally would. So I'd really like to see menacing. There we go. Fantastic. Um, trifold map. I don't think I have a clock yet. A fast clock. Where am I putting this? Defense? Sure. Cross necklace can go in there as well. We need to make the harp before night time so we can... F oh, we've got like two minutes. I need, I think, five more crystal shards. Can I reach that? Fantastic. Two, three. Let's head up here. That's what I was doing until... I think it was the goblin army distracted us. It's up there. Well, that's just some... Adamantite, actually. I don't have the means to... Oh, and here's... We got three tiny little pieces of adamantite, and then we got th two tiny little pieces of titanium right next to each other. But in the very short term, I'm just looking for these crystal shards. Let's grab, I think, everything. Yes, magic heart. Beautiful. We can combine it with the axe later. That's fantastic. Alright, so this is how we're going to kill the destroyer. Um, let's re-roll it. Fantastic. And I think I'll put it in this slot. Actually, I think... I'll put that in, like, the occasional weapon slot. We don't use it that often. It's very niche. Let's put these arrows away. Don't actually have any unholy arrows. Magic dagger is for selling. Ice rod is a material. Ice barrage? Holy crap. 3300 magic damage. I'm sure we won't be making that anytime soon. Uh, let's put that in the chest. I only bought that so I could effectively have infinite flight early. But I forgot I have this monstrosity. 
Oh, what time is it? 8 p.m. We gotta go. Uh, alright. We need boss buffs. Grav potion, magic. What's missing here? Endurance potion. Let's make that out of... Good grief, where is it? Let's make that out of blood orbs for now. I could have just bought it, that was a bit silly, but I'm in a hurry. Uh, swiftness. How am I down to one swiftness? Probably because I was using it in another potion recipe. Night Elm. Shine. Everything else looks good. Uh, we need thorns, why not? Heart reach, absolutely. We get those little eye things that die. We've already got Potion of Omniscience, we don't need Hunter. And Featherfall is weirdly buggy with Grav Potion with Calamity. Let's go Rage, Inferno, and Wrath. And I think that's it. We are as ready as we're going to be tonight. Uh, let's get ourselves imps. They've got piercing damage. Oh, and I could have done a summoner potion, but it's not going to make that big of a difference. Alright. Mechanical worm. Go. Uh, and we need the heart. Yeah. So we want the boss to charge at us. Like this. Could be better. What if I go to the sky and I get him to chase me in a, at a particularly good angle? Kind of, sort of? Where is he? Okay, this is more what I'm looking for. Nope, not quite. Oh, that's a lot of flying enemies. Okay, okay, okay. I think we need to calm down a minute. I think we need to kill the small ones first. That was a little bit silly. We are out of space. Okay, okay, okay. They are very good at chasing us as well, the little ones. Alright, I think we're good now, question mark. I may have been a little bit overly aggressive at first. Let's get the small things out of the way. I'm actually glad I've got the mana cloak this time. One less thing to think about. Also, did I really not buff before? I guess not. That would make it a little bit easier. Where is he? Get the small ones. How's our time? I think we're going to run out of time at this rate. Uh, I don't think I have the defense to, like, get in a really good position for damage, though. Okay, how about this? That's pretty good. Just got to get it down. That's more like it. Where is he? Go 
got enough. Oh, he's over this way. Oops. Well, he didn't reach us. Oh, that's too much damage. That's too many lasers. Okay, let's back up a little bit. That's what we're looking for. Okay, that's marginal. Okay, okay, too greedy, too greedy. Ouch. What time is it? 2.10. It wasn't wrong to be a bit more aggressive to try to get more damage, because we were going to run out of time. But that was way too greedy, that one moment. How... Oh, right. Uh, Shadow Flame Hex doesn't pierce through things, does it? We'd have to be even closer. It does. Uh, what kind of deeps are we looking at here? Twenty six hundred. Okay. And if we get the dream with the half, it's actually way higher. My heart just stopped for 15 seconds, same amount for which stream buffered and no other page loaded. <laughs> okay. That was a good effort, I'm just starting a Calamity Expert World 2. Good luck. I could have been more prepared, I had to kind of rush the preparations a little bit. It was like 8pm by the time I started at least. But... I think the harp is good enough if we have a lot more defense and I can, like, really, really get more damage in because of that. But I think I'm a little too squishy for it. As is. Um, we could maybe get some... Actually, now that I think of it... We have 60 hallowed bars. Is that enough? Let's see. Uh, 30 plus 24. Yeah, that's enough. Alright, time to see if the hallowed armor is any different. Um, I kind of want the ancient... I wonder if, for all we know with Calamity, the Ancient set could be different from the regular set. Oh, it is. We can tell from the defense alone. 15 versus 18 defense on the plate mail. One defense for this? What? I mean, that's minions, but still. Okay, Ancient Hallowed Mask is 24. Hallowed Mask is 24. But for the uh, for the plate for the chest set, it's fifteen versus eighteen. I definitely want to make both and see what they're like. But for now, I think we'll go for the tankier one because we're just trying to get enough defense that we can really hit them. Uh, Really hit the destroyer with the harp. But not by jumping directly in front of its face. That was a bit much. Hallowed headgear. Let's put this away. And hallowed greaves. What do we get? Set bonus, become immune after striking an enemy, so that hasn't changed. Or at least not with this version of the set. 
Oh, it's a material as well. Oh, that was that other thing I saw earlier. Yeah, that's that's a bit later. How's our damage? 87. It's slightly, slightly up. 12% uh, crit as well. 19% crit. Plus another 7. Yeah. This will probably be it. Uh, let's put the... What's this called again? Statagel set away. Oh, I never got the angel wings. I should have done that before that fight as well. Alright. What do we need for angel wings again? Soul of Flight. Uh... Nothing? Wait, what? Angel wings. Ten feathers, Soul of Flight, Soul of Light. I don't have Soul of Light yet, that's why. Alright. Let's sell... The Magic Dagger. Hallowed Bar goes back up here. Actually, this is a bit easy. Shadow Flame Hextol is also a material. Bear that in mind for later. So we've got uh, the Hallowed Set free hit on top of the Brain of Confusion free hit. If I combine that with the Cross Necklace, we could be really, really aggressive and use our no sales on the damage in order to deal damage. But I think that is maybe going a bit far. Like, if a laser hits us just a little while before the destroyer hits us in the face, uh, we're going to be taking a lot more damage that way. Alright, let's go get some souls of light then. And I guess the underground desert would be the place to do it. Or I could dig through here a bit. That's probably a lot safer. Then again, the rate that we're going to get them, if we go to the underground desert, is going to be very fast. Where's our imp? Get out of here. Uh, let me put this away as well while we're at it. Skeletron Prime. One, two, three, four, five, past the twins. So it was a gap of four, right? Yeah. Oh. Let's make some more room in our inventory. Why am I carrying stone? I mean, I will be carrying stone again quite soon, whether I like it or not, still. Put the crabs away for now. Okay. Oh, did we get... Let's get our next pickaxe as well. Our calcum seems good. Actually, Orichalcum is stronger than Mithril, so on the off chance we end up making armor out of that. We've also got more of it stashed away. And then... I think that's it. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, we need Souls of Light. And I would like to get more crystals as well. Crystal shards. And while we're here, may as well mine some tier 3 metals. Did I not pick that up? I did not. Let's 
let's not bring the lava down here. Um, let's go... Seafood dinner... I already got the binding potion, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, and... Ancient chisel. There we go. That's more like it. Fantastic. I'm sure we'll have some Chaos Elementals stopping by to chat in a moment. Or not. Probably better if I use the... Never mind. Give me some souls. Micro sound broke, kinda? Micro sound? As in microphone? What does it sound like? Yes? Uh oh. Let me hear it for myself. What does it sound like? Oh, I don't have this. I have this muted. Oh, I don't have this. I have this muted. Uh, what's wrong with it? Uh, what's wrong with it? Did it get quieter or something? Uh, what's wrong with it? Did it get quieter or something? Sound seems good to me. Okay. Let's continue then. Back to normal. Hmm. Huh. So, can you describe what happened? Oh, the lava did come through. Rip. Uh, we've got the Terra Spark boots, but I think... Just to make things a bit easier here. Obsidian skin would be nice. There we go. Let's put this back where it belongs. Get off me. Give me a soul. Thank you. Sounded very far away and out of a bucket. The rest of your sound was normal. Hmm. Maybe the connection... Maybe the wire got bumped or something. Uh-oh. Get out of here. Actually, I should really bring... I should really bring that summoning item that hits everything through walls. Even if I'm not playing summoner at the moment. But since we're down here... See that. Yep. Nope, 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 no thank you. Give me your soul, never mind. Don't trigger the trip mine this time. There we go. Shield of Cthulhu. Don't fail me now. Never mind. How many souls do we have already? 
seven. I think we need like 15. Sugar rush has run out. I can't dig quite as fast. Also, that was titanium. Oh, it's not getting closer because of this summon. Lol. Poor enchanted sword. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. Yeah, I would be a lot better off with that... Uh, what's it called? Slime... something. Ow, ow, ow. You know what? Let's go get it. I can burn a potion on a potion of return on this. Uh, where is it? Slime puppet stuff. Let's put this in the mage gear. Do a quick stack, and so far as that'll help. And back we go. And this thing just casually hits everything through walls. Fantastic. We're getting titanium and adamantite with relative ease as well. it is? It is not. I don't know. Oh, is that it? No. Yes. Gelatin crystal. Fantastic. Now we can do queen slime. And we can do queen slime whenever we want because this is calamity and boss summoning items do not get consumed. Are we ready for queen slime? Probably. Oh yeah, we've got Hallowed Gear now. Shouldn't be too difficult. Titanium. I always seem to find these two together. I wonder if that's by chance or not. Damage is falling behind, though. It used to be almost equal um, to the off uh, to the actual class we're playing compared to like magic missile. Now it's getting rather weak, but hey, it hits everything through walls. is way too full. Uh, let's get rid of this dynamite and we'll head back in a moment. Ow. 
apple pie. Why not? Pretty sure that's not adamantite up there. Alright, let's go. PM. We're not doing any bosses tonight. Well, maybe Queen Slime. Let's get... what are we gonna do? Adamantite Forge, I think. Since we've got a lot more titanium. Uh, this is... is this all of it? I thought I picked some up before this. That is quite the mess. Now inventory. I've actually been holding onto these crystal balls for a while. We got magic quiver. And Fantastic. Strange plant. Reflective obsidian dye. I think I'll pass. Arrow, well sand. Go in here. Alright, so this really is our first lot of titanium and adamantite. Let's go for the adamantite forge since we've only got 43. I kind of like the look of it a bit better as well. 39 titanium is not going to get us a set of anything, I don't believe. Frost armor is 30... 46, actually. It's surprisingly close. Is it the same for forbidden? 10 plus 20 plus 16. It is. We don't actually have the uh, stuff for frost armor. Gets, whoops. Let's get some adamantite bars. So we just need a bit of titanium and we can get ourselves the hybrid uh, mage and summoner gear. But I don't think I'll use that for the boss fight. Geyser, get out of here. Danger Sense potions are basically just materials now. But maybe I'll keep them in here anyway. Soul of Light, don't tell me we got 14 out of 15. I might just have to cry. Uh, what were we trying to make with it? This is easy to browse. We can make a Celestial Magnet once we get um, the Destroyer down. What was I trying to make, though? Oh, Angel Wings? Yeah, Angel Wings. We actually need 25 Souls of Light, so we're not even close. Another 11 to go. Oh, it's time to harvest Deathweed. Let's do that. Oh, I, st I still don't have... I do have the truffle. Fantastic. Let's go get ourselves a new pylon. Fantastic. 
fantastic. And what else? I don't think we'll be buying anything else from here for now. Deathweed, go burn. And now. Aziz Light. Another owl? What? Am I an owl magnet right now? And... You know what? I've got two invulnerabilities. Just, just come at me. We got another moon charm. Right. Let's go get the rest of these souls. I've actually got two minutes to do a fishing quest. Let's maybe do that. Sky Lakes. Uh, I'm going to spend like 30 seconds getting there, so maybe not. I could perhaps make it so that we can climb up this way. Or how about... How about this? You know what I should have done is use the grand design. That's a bit easier. Oh, the demolitionist was slain. Rip demolitionist. I'll take that soul though. souls to us for no effort. Oops. I was hoping to juggle him before he fell in the lava. Traveling merchant. That might be worth a look. Rod of Discord? Hell yes! I wonder if Calamity makes it more likely or not. You'll probably check. Alright, let's put Rod of Discord here. Fantastic. Oh, you're joking. No, I can't teleport spam it at the cost of health. No! That wasn't even spamming. I tried to do it like five seconds later. Don't don't know if it's cross uh craftable or not in Calamity. Uh it is not, I think, unless I'm using this wrong. Normality relocator. Press Unbound to teleport to the position of your mouse. Fall speed is doubled for 30 frames after teleporting. Disabled while chaos state is active. Works well in the inventory. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about not being able to pay health to teleport twice. No, I know how I feel about it. I feel bad. 15 second cooldown. That's a shame. Even so, uh, a bad Rod of Discord is a lot better than no Rod of Discord. Let's 
still a pretty big quality of life. I still can't teleport. Okay, I take a, I take back everything. This is the worst. This is a good spot to get souls anyway, since they keep suiciding. Should probably use a battle. Is that a hammer? Oh, it's a statue. How many souls do we have? 21. Almost there. I'd like to get at least one more so that we have uh, one left in the chest for quick stack. I was looking for a place I could teleport so I could just kill those guys quicker, but it didn't really present itself. Horo Cora, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's wait for this elemental. Actually, I guess there's no reason I don't have to worry about hoping to get a rod of Discord anymore. Elementals are no more special from the loot perspective than any other enemy now. Twenty-two souls. That's another gelatin, I think. Yep. Um, no reason. Wait. Did I not? Yeah. No reason to have two of these. They don't get consumed when you use them. And they sell for nothing. Getting a lot of ancient bone dust. Is that hard mode stuff? I don't think so. Souls, fantastic. Let's grab one more, at least. Missed. I was gonna dig through there, but what for? myself into a dead end with a 15 second cooldown. The wizard died at some point? Rip wizard. Uh, do I have like a... I don't have a really good bouncy AoE spam around the corner kind of spell right now. Like uh, Crystal Storm. Ooh, how much titanium do we have? We needed like seven, right? And I think it's four to make one. So we should already have enough for the hybrid armor. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's Tim. Um, I'm a little busy. Here we go. Thank you for teleporting in line so I could do that. 
Did Tim drop a plasma rod? We've had plasma rods for ages. What game will be tomorrow? Uh, more Calamity. And then after the day off, it'll be Oxygen not included. Alright, that's, that's quite enough. Let's go. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And furthermore, whoops. Okay. Um, let's fix our inventory. This goes in here. This goes here. We should have everything we need for angel wings now. Uh, feathers, I think. Yeah, we need ten feathers. Yay. Indeed. Alright, we need, what, a mithril anvil, probably? Fantastic. And let's re-roll this. Probably defense. I mean, that's the whole reason I'm going to the trouble of getting the angel wings before this boss fight. Let's get warding. If I want damage, I'll get a different set of wings. So, rip menacing. Warding it is. So we get another 20 life, 10 defense, 2 life regen. Plus 6 defense? What? Hang on. Did warding get stronger or something? Warding was plus four before, wasn't it? Warding gets stronger. Wow. Okay. Meloxyl, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I might keep wings here. Let's clean up our inventory. Let's talk to the traveling merchant before he leaves. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about this. Let's get our... Uh, I think we needed like one more... What is it called? Forbidden Fragment? Or was that just for the crappy spell? How do you keep all the chests sorted? Um, basically just have a system. Quick stack things. Or do I just have an inability to keep chests sorted? It, it takes it takes some effort in Terraria to keep things organized like that. We're not getting... I don't think this counts as a sandstorm. Or are we just really unlucky with the spawn? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Sneaky. And that's what we're looking for. actually see the sharks trying to sneak up on me this time. It's a lot better. So, does like menacing or lucky get better in any way? Because I feel like warding... warding was already better than vanilla to start with. And if it's just going to get even stronger, it seems like the only option, really. Uh, 
And these things have a lot of health. That's not good. What just happened? Would you die, please? Good grief. Should probably use more damage over time on these guys. Since they keep being unhittable. Alright, I should actually check if we even need any more Forbidden Fragments. Oh, the sandstorm just stopped. Well, I guess that makes our decision for us. Only defense line of modifiers are changed with calamity. I see. Where's the guide? Why are they both standing on top of each other here? Uh, I'll give you some privacy, don't worry about it. Oh, that's a lot of stuff, actually. Okay, yeah, there's like a million things to spend Forbidden Fragments on. But for the moment... Titanium... So how much defense do we probably lose? We go from 67 to 57, that's pretty harsh. Max mana goes from 300 to 280. That's also a downgrade. 15% uh, magic and minion damage, though. Compared to, what? 19-ish? But it's on top of another 10% minion damage. Max minions by one. Double tap up makes an ancient storm. Wait, what? I shouldn't have room, I think. The minion damage nerf is reduced while while wielding magic weapons? Minion damage nerf? What minion damage nerf are they referring to? It doesn't say decreased minion damage or something, does it? Oh, and another 10% increased magic damage. So, laser rifle, it's actually more magic damage. Yeah, this is going to be a nice set for not boss fights. But for boss fights, um, we definitely probably want something like this. So it's plus 6 after Wall of Flesh, plus 7 after Golem, plus 8 after Moon Lord, plus 9 Providence, plus 10... Oh, good grief. This mod goes on a long time, huh? It makes sense since defense is flat damage number reduction. Yeah, okay. Did you also get the glitch where the Hallow didn't spawn? No, we got Hallow. Speaking of which, I should probably be paying attention to where it's spreading to. It's actually spreading quite slowly. Okay, let's put our minion set, our, our minion hybrid set away for the moment. And stack away the rest of this stuff. Um... So we got the angel wings, we got the hallowed gear, we've got, oh, I guess Rod of Discord is staying there from now on, so harp, we'll probably go there, I'm not using the black Anurian very much lately, it's, damage is just dropping off too much. Um, 
Let's clean out our void bag. Stack, stack, stack. Why do I have a campfire? Gold chests. Uh, wizard hat. I kind of want. I kind of want some aesthetic now. Maybe when I get another mana cloak. Oh. Okay. Let's put the fishing gear in. Piggy bank. Maybe combine it with some dye. Phase dye? Okay, that's a bit over the top. I haven't made any regular dye yet. Do that, I suppose. Red, orange, yellow, and so on. Purple might be nice. Sure. Let's go with purple. We've got a million plasma rods, I'll sell that. Steak is nice. Mining pads? I'm not sure where to put those exactly. I've tried not very hard to get a mining pad, uh, to get the entire set of mining gear. It's never happened. Uh, we don't need hallowed torches. You can always buy planters. What's this? Beetle juice? It's for making vitamins, honeydew. Okay. I might put that in its own chest for materials to make accessories. And bullets go here. Bombs here, and our inventory is pretty much clean. Are you doing a mixed class? Yeah, no strict classes. Just whatever seems good at the time. Right now I'm going to try Mage to kill the Destroyer. Although it's too late in the evening to get started on that. We've got the magical harp and quite a lot of defense. So we're going to try and get right in the destroyer's face to get a lot of damage. Neither does stuff. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe we could do Queen Slime. Um, I don't see why not. Would the hybrid summoner gear be better for deeps? It would, but I don't think it's worth sacrificing one of our damage ignoring abilities. Alright, let's assume the Queen Slime is going to be really scary, because I have underestimated things before. Actually, why don't... I, I find Inferno Potion too distracting for the value that we get out of it, usually. Unless there's projectiles that get destroyed by it.
heart reach, definitely. Uh, summoning can't be bothered with, it's not worth the trouble. Grav potion, of course. And let's get a bit more rage and wrath potion. It's easiest if we just buy it. And where do we have... I guess the Hallow is closest to our main base. Let's not forget the summoning item. I don't think we have to fight Queen Slime at night, do we? I've got like 30 seconds if that's the case. We got to refresh the regular old summon. This is still active as well. Already got that one. And away we go. Oh. What's that? Skeleton Prime. What a silly and pointless contraption for something created with essence of pure terror. Hey. <laughs> Draydon obviously took several liberties liberties with his design. I am not impressed. Strange plant. And here we are in the Hallow. I should probably do some Hallow fishing as well. Another strange plan. Alright. We don't have a whole lot of Hallow here. Does she enrage if we leave the Hallow? Well, this isn't going to tell us until we beat her. Let's get started then. Summons having knockback is very helpful, even if they don't do a lot of damage. Oh, that was done. But all it cost us was dodge cooldown. Liking the water very, very much. Although it's only going to get us through the easiest phase. Where's my grab potion? Oh no. Um, wait, what? I have grab potions. So why can't I... Why can't I reverse gravity? Oh, don't tell me, I have too many buffs. And I had to manu manually take that one. Okay. It 
It may not be strictly necessary, but if we run out of space, it might be good to be able to switch gravity. Like this. Not too difficult, actually. Would you hurry up and die, please? Thank you. No, I die already. The grief. What is that? There we go. Alright, what do we get? Probably two pieces of the crystal assassin gear. I'm gonna run out of room, aren't I? You know what? Let's fight her again while I have the buffs active. I'll check the loot later. Thanks again very much for the raid yesterday. You're welcome, Tumbling. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mr. Panda-chan, welcome, welcome also. I am new to Terraria, what's Calamity? Calamity is a very big mod. Um, I don't think overhaul is quite the right word, since it leaves a lot of... Like, it, it leaves everything in vanilla, and it's mostly intact. Uh, some things are changed, but not, like, removed or anything. Um, but it adds a whole lot to the game. Pew pew, indeed. Laser rifles are what you think of when you think of magic, right, Tumblr? I hope we can get a better... magic damage source, actually. Something that seeks, or something that sprays. Alright, now it's on. Red potion... Uh-oh. Some of those other enemies out of the sky. I think I've taken a hit this time. Oh wait, except for when I fumbled on activating the grab potion. I was not prepared for this. My brain is kind of breaking apart. Perfect. Oh, a unicorn. Give me your horn. 
Thank you. That's a lot of mana stars lying around, but I think it's just mana stars. Alright, buff potions are running out. Let's see what we get. Volatile gelatin is a guaranteed drop, I believe. Uh, we got the Slime Queen mount, a direct upgrade from the one we were using. We can now ch uh, jump, fall, and bounce faster, or as fast as we could already. But it's got wings now as well, so that's nice. But yeah, we use this to fall out of the sky extra fast to get away from scary bosses. We got the Blade Staff. That's nice. That is one of those weapons that... If you get it early, it's okay. If you get it a bit later, it's kind of cringe. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it's... A incredibly good at suppressing actually maybe with that in like uh, maybe with that in mind I was being too harsh on it we did get the entire crystal assassin set does wait let me see does the blade staff go through walls I don't think it does Okay, it's not that great by itself at the suppression, but it's not bad or anything. I don't know, the- ooh, hello key. The damage on it is really not all that, especially compared to Calamity stuff. And especially if we're not playing Summoner. Oh, I don't have another Summon item available at the moment. We can summon a pet. We got the Hook of Dissonance, which teleports us to our destination. It's not so good for keeping momentum. Also, we've got the Rod of Discord already, so I think that's enough teleportation. Sparkle Slime Balloon. Not sure what that's about. And last but not least, Crystal Assassin gear. What's our damage like compared to this? 87 with the Hallowed set. 80 with the Crystal Assassin gear. And the gear set bonus gives us the ability to dash. We don't need the Shield of Cthulhu. If we don't want to use that, we can free up a whole other accessory slot. Uh, total defense is... 81 versus... 81? It's the same as Hallowed? Hallowed Mage, anyway? I mean, we don't get the... We, we lose out on the whole... The no sale taking damage from the Hallowed gear. So that's something to consider. Uh, but we do get 5% crit, 10% reduced mana usage, 10% reduced ammo usage, and... Wait, what? Where's the damage buff? Twenty percent increased movement. That's not nothing to scoff at. Don't we normally get plus ranged and magic damage in vanilla? Did they actually nerf it? Why would you nerf this? It's not that great. Five percent increased crit. Five percent increased damage. Is that it? Am I just misremembering? Well, anyway, uh, it is a ranged and magic hybrid set, if you're so inclined. More to the point, it's got a dash built in as well. It's, it's decent. 
Uh, also makes us pretty fast. Yeah, I, I can actually really feel the difference. Alright, let's head back. I can't remember what else... Oh, I can check with the uh, boss log. I was going to say, I can't remember what else we can get from Queen Slime. Loot and collection. We got everything except for mask, music box, and music box. Okay, there's no gear. We've actually got everything. Let's go. Being very optimistic, I was actually thinking it might be possible to kill Duke Fisherman with this, but that's kind of tricky. Besides which, we already got the Hallowed set. The point would be, like, this would be the earliest thing you could maybe kill Duke Skeletron with. Uh, strange plants, go burr. Negative die and Hades die. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, I know what negative die looks like. It's not great. And Hades die? It, wait, why is it blue? I don't remember it being blue. I thought it was, uh, like, fiery. I don't mind this either. Let's stick with purple. Whoops. Now then, stack these things away. Um, did I just... Oh, I see, I have two hooks of dissonance here. I was gonna say, surely I didn't just quick stack the hook of dissonance somewhere. Where am I keeping my spare hooks? I think this is the first that I want to keep. Hallowed key goes in here. Slimy saddle. We're not going to need that anymore. We've got a direct upgrade. Crystal assassin. Oh, I'm actually wearing it already. Maybe put this here. I guess this is kind of a summon item, if anything. Speaking of which, quick blade stuff. And let's clear... Enchanted daggers. The death stair rod really is just... Unbeatable so far. If you're not playing Summoner, or even if you are. You pretty much have to have the eye. Alright, we got four Unicorn Horns. What else do we use this for? Ale, Pixie Dust, Crystal Shard, Unicorn Horn makes... All damage stats by 8%, lowers defense by 10%. Increases immune time after being struck. That's kind of a side grade, defense-wise. Magical liquor is highly sought by those with a refined palate. 15 minutes. I mean, that's... That's like... Uh, compulsory when we're fighting bosses where damage is more important than health. Speaking of which, what time is it? 10.22. I probably could have fought uh, the Destroyer tonight if I'd hurried up. That's going to be very late game. What's this? Nuclear Fury. We need Razorblade Typhoon first. I am intrigued. We also need Luminite Bar. That's going to be a while off. Rainbow Rod, 
Uh, we actually have Souls of Sight already. Hell yes. Let's get our... Let's get our Magic Missile updated. And some material as well. Can't wait. Alright, two horns, ten dust. Do we have ten dust? We do not. Ten crystal shards, which we do have. Eight souls of light. Which we don't still have. So we need pixie dust and some souls of light. Pets go in here. I what even is this? Did they rename the uh Gamer Girl Bathwater? Is that what this is? Can I sell it? Yes I can. Gelatinous balloon I've already got over here. Fantastic. Oh we do have a few more pixie dust. How many did I need? Ten in total. We've got that. Alright, so all we need is souls of light. Let's go get that then. And I'll take that. As is light. Probably make sure this can be run up. Fantastic. That's a soul already. How many was I looking for? Uh, eight in total. Eight souls of light. Ah, ah, ah. I asked AI to generate image of you? Uh-oh. Someone did that the other day saying... I think it was Veldak. It was Tyrannosaurus Rex building a factory. Oh, it was you. I'm, I thought that was tumbling for a second. Let me see. Uh, Imgur takes 200 years to load. Never mind. I'll have a look in a minute. Actually, there's just nothing. It won't load. Comes from... Rayon.com? Yeah, I've seen a couple of those. Uh, or did they change the name of it? There was, this, there was this one AI like that they changed the name of for some reason. But could you be persuaded to stop? Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I probably could have used the harp, actually. It's got a lot of... No, it's got no knockback. It's got a ton of damage. How about some mining potion? Imgur is bogged, it doesn't load. Okay, it's not just me then. Um, but I did see on the Discord, I think. Tyrannosaurus Rex building a factory. It wasn't the same one, was it? Maybe I should put down a water candle. Andy Gaming, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. I'll give you a little shout out. How was your stream? Oh, sneaky. Skeleton archer hiding in the lava. 
Although, I have to say, um, defense is just so much stronger compared to vanilla. That arrow would have hurt a lot more, normally. Pulmonite is a stupid process, I hate it. Fair enough. Uh, is this like 0.6? I guess. I, I, I assume it's a bit more complicated than the Holmanite that I dealt with in my last playthrough. Perhaps. Soul of Light, we've got six. I think we're aiming for eight, aren't we? Actually, I should probably take some... Let's do it right now. I'll take some pearl stone down to where our gem tree farm is. Because I would rather that get taken over by uh, pearl stone and crimstone. And it would also be a good place... To fight a lot of enemies quickly. Alright, should probably stack this stuff away while we're at it. Actually, how many souls do we have? We've had we've got nine. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Uh crystal shards and pixie dust. I think that was it. Rainbow. Rod. We need Mithril Anvil. I'm missing the two unicorn horns, and I think that's all. Stack this away. Two unicorn horns. And. Fantastic. Get out of here, Flame Lash. Served us well. So now we have a triple hitting magic missile, which also, if we manually drag it around, does not collide with walls. One step has like a 66% chance to return the inputs and 33% to let you go to the next step. Interesting. Burgers and fries, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I didn't put this stuff away earlier. Let's go hallowed, hallowed, hallowed. What time is it? 6.30 a.m. Uh, so we're not doing a boss fight in the next few minutes. Unless. That's a spare sell it. What boss could I fight during the daytime? Something new, preferably. Uh, let's see. Where is this found? Cryogen. Recipe from Calamity Mod. Five souls of light and night. Essence of Elium? I don't know what that is. The essence of cold creatures. Okay, I think I think we know where to find that. Um, what's this? That's the pirates. We got rain. Let's make sure we stay ahead of waterly. Oh, we've got rain. That means we can get the frost shards. Let's let's go. Probably way ahead of my needs for Waterleaf at this point. Good. Stop. Alright, let's go to the snow biome. And we're looking for... Ice Giants. 
Um, probably don't need the grav potions right now. Oh, holy cr what is that? No, that, that was fast. That was very fast. I gotta keep my eyes open. Uh, I don't want to use grab potions right now. Heart reach is overkill. We can just buy damage, so I guess I'll keep them. This goes here. Um, I don't have the enemy detector on me. Maybe I should go get it. Because it's very easy... What is that? Oh, Emera. It's very easy to accidentally despawn an ice giant. So, what do we got? Um, it's in here somewhere. I think. Oh, is it the goblin tech? Movement speed, DPS, valuable ore. No, it is not. Oh, here it is. Metal detector, tally counter... We don't actually have it yet. Okay, never mind. Let's hurry up and make the most of this snow. Wing alright, spent the weekend having fun playing PoE, then made the mistake of opening Reddit. Fair enough. What is that? Essence of... Oh! Oh, that's exactly what we needed for that other recipe. Pretty easy to farm, actually. Uh, do we have more room to the right? Oh, is this corruption? Oh, this is corruption. Wait. No, we shouldn't have corruption. Does Calamity add corruption if you're on a crimson world so you don't have to do it yourself? It looks like it. What is this? Uh, that's kind of spooky though. I think this is actually a new biome. I don't think this is corruption. Yeah, this is, this is different. Does it spread though? That's what I would like to know. That's a normal tree. This isn't corruption. Okay, then. But we're trying to get the snow stuff. So let's get back to the snow. Probably get away from this biome. Which means, really? In order to be away from a town... We pretty much have to be here. To spawn an ice golem. Uh, I should get a battle potion. And we'll get a water candle out as well. Where would be the best spot that I could hide so I don't get immediately hit by lasers? Probably like here. Uh, water candle. Fantastic. Does it have to be night time? I don't think it does. Whoa, what's that? What's that? No. Ice Slime Banner, why not? It does spread? Uh-oh. Well, I did put some precautions against spread. Uh, just a bit to the right of it, actually. So that should be okay. So we're just waiting on Ice Golem to spawn. Oh, there he is. Fantastic. Thank you for cooperating. 
Is it me, or is his laser slower than normal? Oh, still hit us. If I want to be a bit more careful, I can hit him from around the corner. But I think we'll be okay. Actually, maybe I should try to harp on him from above. Will he get multi-hit by that? It doesn't look like it. Ow. Ow. I can't dodge. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, Alright, I see how it is. Oh my god. Really? Okay, alright. That does it. We're busting out the cheese. We're busting out the cheese. Let's... Let's not have line of sight to something like that, actually. Sixteen hundred health left. And we need to do this at least two more times. Three more if we also want the cool whip. Uh, what banner did I just get? Umbrella slime. Go on. The faster we kill them, the faster we get other stuff spawning in. I don't think we're going to get our three uh, frost cores this time. Oh, here we go. We we just might. That looks uncomfortable. Never mind. Crystal stone would be nice right about now. I probably could have crafted it by now if it had gone out of my way. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, two, eight. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty sure only one ice golem can spawn at a time, so we should be safe here. What is that? I should hit him with the uh, damage over time beam if I can. It lasts a surprisingly long time. Shadow, uh, shadow flame. Summoner weapon proficiency leveled up again. Kind of hard not to level up summoner weapon proficiency. It's quite a bit of loot as well. You have fun hacks, but I have to go before that sound inspires murderous rampage. Uh oh. Let me just confirm we've got two frost cores. We need one more. Oh! And here's our friend! in the worst position he could possibly be in, from his perspective. 
but it's going to be a little hard to prevent him from despawning. Don't drop too far, friendo. Can I bounce this at him? Nice. That's a little bit easier. Magic weapon proficiency level up. Fantastic. Nice. Alright, we can now make frost armor. Oh, and I think, uh, I just realized I'm pretty sure we need a rare drop from them as well for the frost wings that synergize with them. Vibrations from deep below, it's on. Uh, let's see, we've got... I think we've got everything... Uh, I need to make some room here. Actually, give me the goblin tech, I want to know my DPS. Grav potions? Where are they? Heart reach, absolutely. Um, we got stimulants, we got omniscience, we got damage, we got thorns, mana, magic damage. I think we're set. Could maybe use a couple more endurance potions, but who cares? It won't run out during the fight. Let's re-up our summon thingy. The Dasher. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What time is it? It is time. And... I'd better make sure that the grab potion gets consumed. Because sometimes it doesn't when we buff everything. Uh, when does it come? Like 9pm? Oh, here we go. Maybe I should have summoned it early. Okay, we have grab potion. Fantastic. That's working pretty well so far. Especially if I can kill all the small eye things while aiming at the main boss. Oh, I just realized we're still wearing crystal armor, aren't we? I think. Well, I guess it'll have to do. Yep, we're in crystal assassin gear now. With a redundant shield of Cthulhu. I guess it gives us some defense. There's that. This is working surprisingly well. Okay, okay, that was dumb. That was dumb. We're gonna run for a bit. And I should definitely shoot down these uh, flying laser shooters. Oh, I forgot I had Rod of Discord. That was the wrong button. Okay. Should bear that in mind. But this is working pretty well. No, 
now try and get it to charge at me. Like that. Okay, that's a lot of laser. But I think we're okay. Don't really have angle right now. Oh, 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 I didn't see that. Probably should have paid attention to the map. I was watching on the left side of the screen. Uh, what's the time? 12. We've got tons of time. This is working quite well. Except for when I inspire it to shoot too many lasers. So, let's create some distance. Where did it drop its stuff? Um, over there. Thanks for telling me. There we go. One destroyer down. Did we kill Skeltron? Uh, yes, we did. No more random mechanical bosses. Calamity feels okay, man. Mind time, indeed. Uh, Girig Girdi? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. GG, thank you. Bear Noodles, welcome, welcome also. Armor is the crystal, uh, crystal assassin armor, which was by accident. I forgot to switch armor to something a bit more defensive. And we had a whole inventory slot basically wasted, if, except for the fact that this gives us defense. So there's that, I guess. Uh, Brain, of Con Brain of Confusion in Calamity is nice and OP. Instead of random dodges, we get a guaranteed dodge every two minutes. I was suggesting to switch armor before battle. I'm sorry. Alright, uh, let's open our goodie bag, but first, Destroyer goes two tiles before Skeletron Prime. I'm putting it down in the same order as the boss log. Uh, Queen Slime? Did I not put this here yet? I guess not. We actually only killed her twice, and we got all the loot. Fantastic. Alright, what do we get? Um, I guess there's no surprises, actually, with the mechanical bosses. Uh, the Destroyer, Loot Collection... Yeah, it's... Apart from this cosmetic stuff, and so on, it doesn't really matter. Alright, let's get the best minecart. Assuming you have some other way to ignore seven seconds of lava, that is. And I think... Oh, I just realized how late it is. Yeah, we've actually gone over time for today, so... About time to look for a stream to raid. 
let's see who is playing Terraria. Calamity Revengeance 1.4 seems good. I do like to look for something similar to what I'm playing for the raid. And I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, first time Calamity. Sure. Beginner. Struggling together with... Alright, let's do this one. Actually, let me just make sure of something first, because the other day we raided someone where nobody could chat. I'll just double check that it's not like followers only or something. Nope, seems good. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with Calamity. Two days after that, we'll be on uh, Oxygen Not Included. Oh, I've raided this guy before. He's fine. All right, let's go. P.S. The biome you found doesn't spread. Good to know. I'll certainly find out. All right, away we go. Done. Yeah, I fell down a stuff of stairs called ladders. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a good morning, evening, night, or day. Yo! Try, 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 try. Tyrannosaurus hacks. God, I got your name tremendously wrong.